Let's go stream GNO something. I don't know. Stream stream it out? SNO? I don't know. I'm gonna click the tweet button on this. I'm gonna click the enter key on this. Let's go. Two nights in a row. He didn't change the, the title of the stream, and that's okay with me. It still works. Now, let me uh, move things into spots where I can use them. Um, I decided to do the things. Not really. I found myself busy working on uh, putting together the layout for um, Endwalker. Really, if I should be busy putting together a layout, I should be figuring out a layout for Shining Pearl. But, whatever. I threw threw together this layout in like five minutes, and it looks pretty okay. Okay, so, uh, the end of last stream, we got Jinbei, our Mero, who's going to hold the EXP share for a little bit now. Got that huge power, so I'm not too worried about its attack stat being kind of mushy right now. Uh, because I checked in PK Hex, and it's actually very good. <laughs> And then also one level up and it evolves, so. Do, 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 do. I don't think I have anything else to really worry about in uh, the marsh. Not a berry. Do, 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 do. The same shit as yesterday. I'm gonna speed up the miscellaneous crap and not really speed up too much in, uh... Wait, what? Someone in the Great Marsh offered me a hidden machine, but I declined. I don't need it because the gym leader will do defog for us if we ever need it in this city. Oh god, the HM for defog is in there, isn't it? Ah, That's such a Gen 1 thing to do. Damn, I can't stand in the smack dab middle of town because this guy is standing there. The Pokemon Mansion. Mmm, the Pokemon Mansion. Pokemon Move Maniac. You got a Move Tutor. Oh, this is the Move Relearner, isn't it? Yeah, he wants a Hard Scale. We can find Hard Scales in the Underground, which I may have to do uh, when Piccolo evolves. So I can get the elemental punches on Medicham. Look at this cook, Krogunk. Looks like it's seeping a poison. You have uh, quick balls. Rad. I am insane to catch everything in a Pokeball, though. And my name is Flares. People are terrified of me. I sit here and catch legendary Pokemon and Pokeballs. My living dex is all in Pokeballs. Uh, ooh, berry. Rare berry at that. Boo -doo -boo, doo -boo -doo -boo -boo. Yeah, she's a give you a, a, a unique berry every day kind of person, you know? There, okay, there's got to be a thing over here. Let's find out. Come on. Look, it's it's searching. It's hardcore searching. It just keeps pinging. It's not supposed to do that. See? Ah, there is a thing. Full heal. I actually didn't know that was gonna be the spot. I just or I, I just happened to walk to that spot. Don't know how it worked. Did I go into this house yet? Nope. 
Uh, do you have all forms of that there, Burmy? Oh, you don't even have a single Burmy. What does this kid give me if I, uh... Uh, Pastoria City. Actually, I should have that page up anyway because I've been kind of just doing it to get through stuff. I get a macho brace. Okay. Yeah, if I show him all three forms of Burmy, he gives me a macho brace. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Okay, we got a rival battle to do now. Uh, I need. No, I wish this was platinum. <laughs> oh, is the rival battle after the gym leader? It must be. I thought there was a rival fight before the gym. Do, 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 do. Okay, so our... Our big bad this time around is Jupiter. Um, Etta is our backup. Because I gave Etta Shockwave. Otherwise... Like, it's it's mostly going to be Jupiter. Uh, Etta's got Shockwave as a backup. And otherwise, it's just hit shit as hard as we can. Razor Leaf. That's quite effective on a bar boat. I'm a big fan of how I can just like memorize Pokemon types. Uh, this lets me get over here by the sailor dude here. Okay. I've traveled all over the world raising Pokemon. Sure thing, Damien. This is probably like one of my worst matchups in the gym. Is these water flying types. I think there's a Gyarados somewhere in this gym. Might be the gym battle, but that might be, uh, uh, platinum. Can't remember. Can't remember, I'm not looking it up. I haven't looked up any of the gym fights in this, this playthrough yet. Sniper monkey! Well, why would the, why would the monkey be a sniper? Sniper no sniping! <laughs> Can't hide from my sniping! Oh, uh, that's a game I wish I picked up when it was cheap. Arkwright's Fantasia on Wii. That game became really expensive for no reason. I remember seeing that game for like 15 bucks brand new on Amazon, and now it's like... I think the last time I looked at price charting... Uh... It was like almost 80 bucks or something. Arkwright's Fantasia... Complete inbox is $72. Loose is 50. How dumb. Brand new 125, like, come on. Brad, you can't say that word on Twitch anymore. You'll get banned. <laughs> Yo, we're gonna have a we're gonna have an evolution after this. We're gonna have an Azumarill. 
Let me look at this because I was looking at Arcarius Fantasia. Fucking new. Yeah, it was like 23 looks like the lowest it wants to show me that it got down to. Now it's just, it's dumb. That's so dumb. It's so dumb. Pick a pass. What? What? What's this? Bim. Sniper. Monkey. Yeah, I'm a simp, a sniper monkey. Barboach! These guys have lots of barboaches. I remember that much. Evolution time! Man, Jinbei, you haven't even been in the, in the party for that long, and you're already evolving. Gonna be an absolutely powerful Azumarill. Wonderful. I just wanna look at your stats. Oh yeah. Your attack stats both basically doubled. Thank you. God. <laughs> now, huge power doubles the attack stat, so that's basically a 62 attack stat. And I don't really have anything to take advantage of that just yet. Um, do I have the Azumarill page up still? I don't. I have a magic card page up for some reason. Azumarill. I just want to look at its Gen 4 learn set. Hmm. A little bit upsetting. <laughs> the one thing I can say for sure is once we get towards the end of the game, it is definitely going to learn Waterfall. Um, at that point, it might already have Aqua Tail, but Aqua Tail has 90% accuracy, so I think I'd rather have the, the waterfall for the 100% accuracy, but I don't know. I think I pressed this button, because that's the fake out there, so that I can run this way. Which lets me come around here, fight this guy. Can't believe the newest member to my party is the... And also the lowest level is the first one to be fully evolved. Wingle. <laughs> Music's so good. I didn't see what that was, Wingle. That's a shell ass. I think Shellos is pure water, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alrighty. And then we press that button, and that gives us our access to the gym leader. Zoomworld's gonna end up with so much HP. It's gonna be a sponge. The fact that it's seven levels behind my Mistrevis and it's only one HP behind. Like, I mean, I, I know Mistrevis doesn't really have a lot of HP, but, you know. <laughs> Welcome! I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader! That's right, I'm Crasher Wake! My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. 
victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. If you insist, Mr. Crash Awake, sir. I think I also noticed in the VOD, I'm going to bring the uh, game audio up just a tad. Oh, he leads with his Gyarados. That's fine. That's okay. If I would have actually checked this team, I would have known he loved Gyarados, but that's fine. You know what? I can play this confusion game. Let's go. Edo, why would you do this? I can play this game, dude. Get ice beam. You're saying I'm gonna get ice beam? This would be the expectation if a Gyarados was staring was staring down my grass type. I'm gonna hit with, hit with an ice beam. That's why I switched out to my ghost who has electric moves. My team doesn't have an electric pipe on it. Oh, come on. I can't wait until I have a dusk stone so I can evolve that up. Yo, let's go! The confusion play coming through! That was good. That was really good. Damn. Floatzel. Go back out to Jupiter. Ah, the floats look carries ice fang. Okay, I'm not part ground yet. That did about half, and if it was a, if it was that was a low roll, I'm in trouble. Please one shot. Ooh, almost. Uh, the citrus should bring it out of yep, out of the red. He might still heal. Yep. And that's not high enough. That's not high enough for you. That was a risky play. What? The fucking low roll, dude. It went for the swift. You fool. If it would have ice fanged me, it probably would have knocked me out. You fool. And last but certainly least is Quagsire. <laughs> Come on, what's a Quagsire to a, a grass type? Hey, that there! That was a good move! I forgot that's actually a direct quote from the game and that's just the thing Maryland said. I think the crit was overkill. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's gone and ended. I will say this, I want more. I wanted to battle more and more. I think it's what the text box said, it went by too fast. You earned this. And that's four badges. And that lets me use Defog outside of battle. I got Brine. It puts double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. An 
interesting like idea. If you can use a move that would otherwise push it below half. Oh, right. Barry battles me as I try to exit town facing the Team Galactic run. So we're going to heal up. Um, I'm going to swap around here. I think we're going to lead with Etta. Hey, buddy. <laughs> the package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. It's an important mission. No failure allowed. No making boo-boos like wandering off in the Great Marsh. Huh? Where are you dropping? I was just talking loudly to myself. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP. So you're lucky. I'm out. Oh, and listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. Not suspicious. We should follow him. This is the best. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is going to be created. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Oops. <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how about Orion buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buffy and tough you are. Do, 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 he still has a Starly! Dude, make that a, a Staravia already! Okay, good. I can one-shot a Starly. I would have been really concerned if I couldn't one-shot it. Just looking at the waveforms, I want to bring this actually down a bit more. There we go. That's probably better. Do I have a... Uh, I just thought about it. Do I have a compressor? I do. Okay. I might just have to play around with that because I feel like my vocal range still goes all over the place. <laughs> That's a weasel or floatzel or something. I forget. I read it and I don't remember. Yeah, Bweasel. Alright, listen, bud. I just took on a float soul. I think I can handle a Bweasel. Do, 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 do. Ooh, and the crit. Definitely didn't even need the crit. I really didn't. Monferno. The only Pokemon he actually evolved. Uh, I have three options here. Four. Actually, no, I have four options now. His Monferno goes down to everything but my Torch or my uh, Grottle. And actually, it's like Torterro is part ground. Our last Pokemon will be okay against Monferno slash Infernape. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> I basically made a team to wall Infernape. I mean, it would. It would take somebody who really knows Infernape to do that, wouldn't it? Um. Let's try. Let's send Jinbei out. We haven't u actually used Jinbei yet. Bubble beam this bitch. This will be even better in the remake because Azumarill will be part fairy type. 
It'll be Water Fairy. That's what I'm talking about. Nice two hit KO. Speed to himself gives him a nice tasty level up. Roselia. Uh, Roselia will go to RP where you at EXP wise. I just wanna You're gonna need more. We'll go to Piccolo. Fusion! Peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you did a, get a bit tougher since last time. That even shocked me a bit, so yeah, I got beat because I was careless. So hey, what was that Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon and you run like that, you're a bad guy. Alright, Ryan, next time I'm not holding back. Barry, maybe you should run after him. Barry, you ran in this direction, and I don't know where you went, because apparently you just run past the Team Galactic, dude. Uh, I don't have my Rock Smasher with me. Or I do have my... Yeah. No, wait. Meditite has Rock Smash. My brain was like, oh yeah, I'll get to Cantalave City before I uh, learn a move that I would want over Rock Smash. Hey, the TM for Aerial Ace. Fun thing is that uh, Harpy learned that naturally, so... I don't need the TM for Harpy specifically. We needed the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. You were eavesdropping! I was just thinking aloud. I got distracted. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Why am I running like this anyway? That new universe that the boss is talking about. It's giving me goosebumps thinking about it. So we use this. Ah, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the running. But I'm not going to battle you. Then I went down the wrong staircase. No. You're still on my tail? The lake's within sight. You leave me no choice. My Pokemon will KO you. Glam meow, you say? More like lay meow. <laughs> I 
Oh, you suck. That sucks some big Snorlax. Hmm. Yeah, Piccolo woke up. He forced his palm into the, the cat's face. Good shit. I can't battle anymore. I'm running out of fumes. I'm going to give this to the commander. I wish... I got to use it at the lake. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How is filling your Pokedex? Or how is your uh, Pokedex filling up? I read the words out of order. Oops. I came to research the folklore about the lake, but... Well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is up to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there is an island inside the lake. And inside the, that island is a mirage of a Pokemon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yeah. Yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their, uh, hands? Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it will it would be worthwhile for you. We got the secret potion. I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokemon. See you later. He's so dang cool! He's so stinking cool! Well, we got back without any encounters. That was actually really lucky. So, one thing I feel like I need to do is go find the NPC in the Great Marsh that gives me defog. Area 6 from the Ace Trainer near the entrance when entering the marsh. Yeah, I didn't talk to any of the NPCs when I went into the marsh. Ugh. This guy here. Oop. Stop moving. I found this during the Safari game. It's the hidden machine defog, but none of my Pokemon can learn it. You'd be doing me a favor if you took this. Gym Go to area one. Listen, if I'm coming in here, I might as well at least look for stuff. That was too easy. Listen, I needed a defogger. Actually, I have another Starly in the box, don't I? Or no, I don't think I do. I think I released both Starlies. Both of the extra Starlies. 
Yeah, that's my uh, justification. Why I need to catch that hoot hoot. Probably catch nothing else in this place. AI. Say that you need. One super repel. Who's going to drop in repels in the place that you literally come to find Pokemon? I don't understand you people. Great ball. B Barrel. I hate this. I hate the mud. So, uh, Pokemon posted their, uh, BDSP, like, launch trailer, like, the, you know, overview trailer today. And there was one new tidbit of information that I gleaned from it. And that was, you can run in the snow. Yo, look at this knockout, though. Bitch. You're mine, bitch. Did it knock Tower like he's nocturnal owl? <laughs> you know what would be the funniest uh, anti-cheat measure for them to add in a Pokemon game? You can't find shinies. The entire rest of the game works, you just can't find shinies. That's probably what I would try to do. Be like, determine whether or not it's a, a pirated copy. Okay, you just can't find the shiny Pokemon. It's fine. Ah! An abomination! Sorry, I watched too much Smant. I watched too much Small Ant, I see that blue thing, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. It's not a Pokemon. This Quagsire, but that is definitely not a Quagsire. Whoopie girl. Yo, Golduck. I'll throw a ball at that. Okay. Whoopa! Thing. I made it back to the entrance. I didn't find anything of interest. Woo! Piece of garbage. Wag, sir. 
Oh, my time's up. Oh, okay. I was gonna try to hatch this egg. You know, I was really trying. Ran a lot, ran, ran around with it a lot, but uh. Oh, it may be close to hatching now. When we started the session, I had checked it beforehand and uh. You know, so 40 minutes ago and it was nowhere near it. Look at this knock owl. Look at this hoot hoot. I think it's more reasonable to fly in a knock owl than it is a hoot hoot. I forgot I caught a carnivine. Because why not? Lie. Noctowl fly. Noctowl is going to be my sweet ride. And then also teach you defog. This is going to be the nice part about the remake is that, uh. Where that works, I guess. <laughs> is that I won't have to teach HMs to my Pokemon. Okay, so I can just fly back to Hard Home. I can actually fly to Slaceon and go north first before I go back to Hard Home. Uh, but let's. Oh, let's go fight the trainers. We'll get some extra levels. I'm gonna put Jinbei. Jinbei in the lead spot. That's a berry. I napped berry. Other more different pineapple berry. Other an additionally more different pineapple berry. Yo, can uh Noctowl learn what? No. That's disappointing. Okay. We're not getting whatever's up this way. Better revive though. That's pretty chill. There must be a hidden item. I can't change the thing when I'm stuck in the mud. Yeah, there's something nearby. There it is. Rack candy. Quickly, there's a lot of trainers on this route. This is an unfortunate tight matchup. I'm taking it anyway. Rain boosted bubble beam, bitch. Damn. Rain boosted water gun, bitch. <sighs> um, I'm making the assumption. Yeah, okay. Old Beam is the better water gun. I always forget whether or not it is. If I had to double check that. Rain boosted everything, bitch! Rain boosted rain, bitch! PMO6 Toxic. Man, that's toxic. 
on five. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take this from you. But I think uh, I think it's gaining adequate experience without it. Especially considering uh I expect you to be a trainer. Chilling. Girls just chilling in the bog. God, there's just too much. Love Cricketune. Cricketune is an icon. I feel like there could be so many hidden items around here, and I just, I don't care to check for them right now. <laughs> we gotta get a move on. If I'm going to finish this tonight, we gotta get a move on. And the goal is to get Nat decks, as I, you know, should probably restate. Which means I have to go out of the way for, uh, Legends. The, for the trio, the Lake Trio, specifically. So, I think the next gym is going to be interesting, right? Because this is Shard Guy. We're not going to worry about stopping in there. Next gym is going to be interesting because I could try to sweep it with Mischievous. But I doubt that's going to work out for me. Good switch. Shockwave. Bitch. Eat shit, bitch. Nice level up. Water Pokemon sure are happy when it rains. Arboach. Do Fan oh, I'm trying to remember now. Do Fantina's levels Fantina's levels stay in the same bracket as Maylene and Wakes? I think they do. I'm trying to remember what level her Miss Magius is. Three Barboaches and a Shellosh. Shellos. I missed the Razor Leaf. I can't believe this. SMH, man. SMH. Can't believe you do this to me. I just want some fish loving lady to come by. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Okay, to a KO. Not bad. Nice crit. Nice level up. Aqua Ring. That that heals me over time. That's heal over time, right? Yeah. Uh, probably better than Tail Whip. So <laughs> there's a, there are worse choices in the world than to teach Aqua Ring. Excellent. Collector Dominique. The man eek.
kind of want to switch to Jupiter because I, I want Jupiter to evolve, but this is good EXP for Jinbei. Hey, <laughs> I shoved you, dude. Silver wind, you say? That's a pretty reasonably okay bug move. We're still in that generation of uh, bug moves aren't necessarily good. Um. Oh, I need to cut. Okay, that's fine. Ah! Dude would be swerving. Yo, it's nighttime. I can fight the cop. Spotted a sneaky trainer. A sneaky trainer. Policeman Danny. Danny! Oh! Give me a sec. I need my, I need my caffeine juice. I need my caffeine juice. We'll just click roll out and the game will play itself. Like I said, Z game plays itself. Wasn't actually sure how much that would do. Oh, almost. This, close it up and shake. Defeated by sneakiness. Put the hell up. It shouldn't have been sneaky. It should have been tough. Go to hell. <laughs> do 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 do. Whoopa! 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 The bottom. Cadaver. Roll out. If it disables me while I'm in the middle of roll out, I'm not gonna find out. Okay, cool. I think it cancels my roll out. I have plus four HP. That's ridiculous. I found me an antidote. I don't need it anymore, but you know, whatever. Lots of cricket tunes around here. It's gotta tune itself like a fiddle. This is a double battle. Let's go. Are you doing your part to protect the environment? Oh, this is a good matchup. I mean, it's not the best matchup, but it's a good one. Like, go like this. Who moves first? Jinbei moves first. Huh, cool. That works great, because now I raise her leaf and hit the print bluff. For max power. Let's go. And there's a Meryl and another print plop. And I just go, well, I guess I'll bubble beam. <laughs> See, it worked out in my favor.
Okay. I found an elixir. The owner of Amity Square also owns the Pokemon Mansion. I'm on patrol, seeing whether or not there are if there's any trouble afoot. Trouble afoot. Good thing you have a hoot hoot. Who knows what kind of trouble could be afoot if you didn't have a hoot hoot or a meditate? How close am I? Uh, here. Bite would be neutral, so I'll just hit the razor leaf. You fool! Double detect! How could this happen? Double battle time. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, we'll bubble beam and we'll razor leaf. to go that way I see well I found one great ball in this bedroom take them as you will hello miss miss can I speak to you you know how you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden if you put this on a caught Pokemon it warms up to you faster yo soothe bell let's go big fan I'm actually okay. I'm not sure where Harpy's friendship is. Like I said, when it, once it maxes out, I want to teach it uh, return. I'm actually gonna save just so I can actually check that. This is the way that I like to use PK hacks. It made a ding. I hate that PK hacks makes a ding when I open it. There's no reason for it to do that. Stop. Arabia's happiness is all I want. I just want to see friendship. It's at 242. It's basically maxed. Like, that's like... Oh, we'll be maxed pretty soon. Completely unnecessary, but I'm checking the IV since it's knocked owl and, uh... It's, it's mid. It's got a zero special attack, but it's also got a special attack hindering nature, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, okay, it's not mid, it's it's negative. <laughs> Would not use this knocked owl. I'm not loafing up, I'm just taking a personal break. Hey, hey, listen, I understand. Break time is very important. Wild Pokemon who live in the garden. Mr. Backlot is the master of this house. This is his office. Hello, hello. Welcome to my opulent mansion. Uh, there's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. Uh, but what makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted by my garden? They come to me in hopes of seeing the garden. You're welcome to join them in Marvel as my garden. Abster actually quite enjoys showing his prize garden to strong trainers. I am very sorry, but please refrain from touching the statue. 
very expansive looking book on Pokemon. You may look, but please refrain from touching this Pokemon statue. Yo, TM for swagger? You got that swagger? I believe in Platinum, this book shows you a picture of Manaphy to add it to your, uh, add it a scene to your decks. Not allowed to go that way. The Trophy Garden. This is one of those locations that I tried to, uh, look, Pichu. Look at the Pichu. This is one of those locations as a kid that I tried to deck snap for a shiny, or not deck snap, Poke Radar for a shiny. Deck snap's the other thing. Dexnav was such a cool concept, and I wish that something similar to it existed moving forward from Oraz. Was considerably disappointing to see it just vanish. Fight me, old people! Give me your money! Gamble away your savings. Roll out, bitch. Fight, bitch. That almost one shot. I'm disappointed, bitch. That's what I was waiting for. You want to learn Leech Seed now? I mean, Leech Seed wouldn't be too bad. No, no. Give up on Leech Seed. Come on. Come on. Jinbei, no! Okay, we'll go to Harpy. Um, can I... I'd start. So I can see my... HP. In numerical form. Is Jupiter about to evolve while asleep? That's kind of hilarious. Yep. Jupiter, you're asleep! How are you evolving while you're asleep? Go, Jupiter the Torterra. Wants to oh, I forgot you get Earthquake on, on Evo. Oh, that's so good. Can't wait to see this attack stat. Like, actually excited to see this attack stat. Attack and EQ, baby. That is for sure strongest Pokemon in my party now. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. Um. Citrus. As pair. I'm like right at the end of this stretch too. Ah, I stepped in front of him. Go Jupiter. While you're asleep, Jupiter.
There we go. Uh, I th think this is the last trainer. If we didn't come here at nighttime, we wouldn't be able to fight the policeman. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 bam, bam. Sped up music is just, it's, it's fun to try to keep up with it because you can't. You just can't. Maybe you can. I can't. Jupiter, wake up. How many police officers are there on this route? Looks like there should be something here. Weird. Are you a trainer? No. I've traveled a long way to take part in contests. We completed the loop. We're back in Hearth Home, Hearth Home City. We're back in Gotham. We're fully healed, and it's time to take on the gym. Look at this team. This team is actually very, very, like, I, I'm enjoying it. Do, 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 boo, do, boo. We're just carrying this knock towel around with us, though, until, uh, actually, yeah, I guess that's the other, the other bird in this game is knock towel. I was like, yeah, there's Star Raptor and Chatot and that's about it. Forgot knock towel was here. Wait, what? Do I have to... I do have to go up there first? I thought I went here first. Maybe that feels awkward to me because I'm used to platinum. Oh, gonna... I didn't think I knew platinum that well, though. Felt like I would have known diamond and pearl more. That's fine. Give them the secret potion. Good, you used the secret potion I gave you. Fidek are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to del deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. No. I know I'm asking a big favor of you, but I really want you to do it. Will you go to Celestic Town for me? No. Okay, that's the loot point. <laughs> this game is great with its loot points. Listen, I know it's a big job, but I need you to do it, okay? My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. In the location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. 
Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Absolutely, queen. Okay, what the fuck? My favorite thing was uh, in Emil's Emil's Platinum Let's Play. He's like, yeah, she gives off this air of a, uh, uh, I want her to be my big sister. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> I know where that sentence was supposed to go. That's a meal. There's a lot of rare Pokemon. All I'm finding are Geodudes in the grass. Who came up with this shit? Oh, I found a Ponyta. Actually, I think it... That's another uh, shiny Pokemon that I just thought about that I've caught that I didn't get to keep because I don't know what happened to the save file. Hey, there are trainers in this. The Ninja Trio. I found a uh, shiny Ponyta. I think not not up in, in this patch of grass, but in the, the patch of grass just north of Salacion Town. Oh yeah, this is a trainer battle. What the fuck? Trainer battle? You want me to do what now? Okay, I'm gonna look something up because my brain is now like, wait a minute. I need to look at the Hard Home City gym. What are the levels in the gym? And Tina. Oh, her Miss Magius is 36. Or is it the whole 10 levels less in Platinum because she's the third gym leader in Platinum? Okay. That's fun. I didn't see what the next Pokemon is. Skorupi. 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 You bastard! Okay. Okay, never mind. Yo, Chansey. I mean, there's a half peony in the egg in the box. And throw this premier ball. I was hopeful. The finding Chansey in this game is great, though, because, uh... Because it can't run away from you. All right, from your ball, you suck. Do I really need to catch this? No. The catching is just a chance. E. Oh, I didn't mean to find the kid. I just happened to find the kid. Bobby it. Goodbye, Geo dude. Geo dude deleted. Geo dude deleted. Geodude deleted. Level 30. I love when your Pokemon catches up in levels. Okay. I'm gonna switch uh, Edda into the front because we need to... We need to juice Edda for the, uh, for the gym. Where's this last kid? Why are there only Geodudes in the grass? That spot, I see it. 
If it's not the kid, it's an item. And it's the kid. The ninja trio. I found you, ninja. This is the worst matchup I could have had. Come on. <laughs> That's my solution now. See a stunky and I can earthquake it. Look at that ponyta. Pony ta this thing. Oh. The cricket he tunes. <laughs> the cricket he tunes. The chancy. What a chance. The fog! She fogs! You reload the fog. You know? Look at that. Damn! Emulation has come so far. The old days when I played this in No Cash GBA when the game was new. Uh, the fog didn't render at all. And then there was a version of No Cash GBA where the fog rendered, but the entire screen was white. The entire screen was white until I used defog, so it was like required to use defog. It was that bad. Good shit! Dude, what is stronger, Psybeam or Shockwave? I think Psybeam is. Okay. Nothing matters, I one shot with, this, with Shockwave anyway. See, the goal better might matter. Yeah, see? I, it, I mean, it still didn't matter. It was a two shot re regardless, but. Super fat bat. <laughs> bat is too fat! The water bill is too damn high! Pone e ta. Well, I can't switch out now. Uh, confuser. <laughs> the side beam wasn't gonna take it out in two hits, so. I needed a third turn anyway. Payback! 50 power. If I move second, power doubles. That... Mm, I'd have to live a hit. I'm gonna skip it. Grottle. Grottle. Just thinking if I have another way to... Nope, it's Harpy. I'm like, no, I don't have another, like, ice or fire. Or... I, had, I had hidden power fire, but I got rid of it because it was weak. It's like hidden power fire with a power of 34 or something. I think PK Hex said. Double battle, motherfuckers! Mm -hmm. 
Gyarados and Raichu. So this is uh this is dangerous. Actually, no, it's not. Here, I shockwave you. I switch to you. It should be a two-hit KO. Yep. Like shockwave on you, earthquake. So I won't get bit. Oh, it T bolted and uh That's unfortunate. Having essentially uh early game EQ is too powerful. Giving Torterra Earthquake on Evolution is too powerful. Moth them. Almost. Like the fact that that Edda is cons consistently almost taking stuff out in one hit has me excited for when I get to evolve it and it like consistently takes stuff out in one hit. It gets that special attack boost that it needs from evolving and it just rips and tears. I guess I could have gone into uh, Piccolo. I haven't been using Piccolo a lot lately. So we got the new kid on the block. We gotta make sure he's leveled and yeah. I don't know. We. David doll. I be motherfucker. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've been whirlwinded. Oh, this is fine. Now I'm mad. Fortunate that I have rock smash. Hey, Shadow Ball. Okay, wait, does Mischievous learn that naturally? Or, yes, at level 37. After that, it only gets Parish Song and Grudge. I can use the TM and then Well, I don't have I don't have the stone anyway. So it's not really gonna matter. <laughs> Anyone else able to learn it? Pick Lois. That would be special attack, that's so good. Yeah, Piccolo's got an even attack, special attack right now. Noctowl is doing really great too, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, it's 71 speed. It is so fast. It's so fast, like, payback just will not help. I could do, I could have like payback on Mischievous if I was gonna do, um, the other thing to do with the payback is physical. What is my physical attack stat? 49? Like, even the double power really doesn't matter all that much. Payback Mischievous really makes the most sense if, uh, um, I was gonna run like a trick room set, I guess. But even then, just, yeah, just no. We ninjas appear when you least expect it. Ninja boy Nathan. Oh, this is a good matchup. It's four times super effective. 
goal, but... Yeah, no, I think that is my best bet for goal bats. Eight levels higher. Okay, cool, I can one shot. One smoke ball. In case you too want to be a ninja. Um, I'm gonna switch. Oops. I'm gonna use Piccolo for a little bit. We'll switch Piccolo into the front. Holding that fist plate. Don't make me immediately regret it. I'm almost immediately regretting it. Oh, I can still one shot. Let's go. Piccolo is power. Piccolo is might! Oh. We're good. We good. Me lose to somebody young, you say? I dare say not. Weasel. Force ball. God, force bombs too good. Listen, force bombs neutral. What? Why? Why would you do this? Trying to understand, and I don't understand. I continue to not understand. A citrus berry, you say? A chesto berry, you say? A wiki berry, you say? What is this? Agwav. Agwav. All right, we made it to Celestic Town. Good. What would bring you to a place so far off the beaten path? There is nothing to see but some ancient Pokemon etchings. Oh, now this is interesting. Let me see your Pokemon. It clearly likes you very much. You can have this. Thanks for the Great Ball, I guess. They say this town has been here since Sinnoh was made. Wow. Wow. Can't wait to go there in Legends Arceus, guys. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow up the town with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. They say a Pokemon created this inner region. Really, no. The analog watch! It displays the current time. Where? Where do be? There it be. The analog watch. Now I know that it is noon five. And by noon, I mean midnight. What do you need? Oh, yeah, this is like the Mart. Just the Mart. Town's so old, they don't have a Pokemon, but they do have a Pokemon Center. <laughs> so this is effectively a Pokemon. Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep, man. What would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? Wise glasses. At night, reflect on what you've learned with the wise glasses. The wise glasses boost the power of special moves. Really? This wise glass is just a solid, like, 10% buff to 
Yeah, thick. That blah, 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 blah. slightly boost the power of special moves. So that must just be a straight like ten percent buff to special moves. Yeah, it is. Huh. Do I get a different thing from him? I get. Choice specs in the morning, black glasses in the day, and wide, wise glasses at night. And honestly, for a for a not competitive team, I think the wise glasses are the best choice to have of the three. You're not going to come back for another one. Um, I'm going to give that to Etta. Make you even more strong. Cool. There's no Pokemon Mart in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in this house there. This house here, actually, is what she said. It's an old book. Ryan began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. Where are you from? Hmm, Twin Lake, you say? Is that close to Lake Verity? That lake is said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. It must be looking over you. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. He wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Cynthia is trying to learn the, the plot points of Legends Arceus. Were things different back then? Or were they the same as now? They were apparently much different back then, to be honest. Different but the same, probably. I would bet. It was weird. Instead of the way that we do things now with turn-based battles, they had Monster Hunter fights. I mean, not exactly, but they're still like technically turn-based. Howdy, studying up on local history? I think that same book that I, I just read uh, in the center house, yeah, is uh, where I can see Dialga um, in post game. Ryan, what are you talking about? Dialga's on the thing behind your save menu screen. Shut up, me. Do, 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 do. Saving a lot of data. Yes, we are. Wait, did that say I had three? No. Okay. But I saw three pop up. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. A galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? No. That's right. Very smart. You know what's good for you. Team Galactic has come out to the boonies like this for everyone's sake. Your cooperation is appreciated. Now, where is my partner? You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world, no, the universe even! You don't say. I knocked my headphones into the microphone, oops. Keep forgetting how far out my headphones actually stick. Uh... Switch to Harvey. And this is just a grunt, so I'm speeding it up. Screw it. Just because a fight is mandatory doesn't mean that it's important. It's mandatory doesn't mean it's important. Piccolo only has 65 HP. That's crazy. You 
much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll happily, happily get rid of this place. Oh, you were magnificent, aren't you? Quite the trainer. As the other elder of Celestic Town, I give you this. I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. I know, she told me. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. Can't wait to learn more about it. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. I can't wait to learn more about it. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? I actually hate how much, like... Oh yeah, so this thing happened in the past in Sinnoh. It's like, man, that's just... That's set up for... That's set up for Legends Arceus. They never intended that when they originally made this game, I'm pretty sure. I'd be very surprised if they had that kind of meta foresight, but you know, whatever. I don't think there's any hidden items in here, so we're just gonna go look at the thing. Ryan, examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere? What is that about? <laughs> the cave's painting's mean, uh, meaning seems to be this. There existed a being. A being so powerful it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this powerful being were three Pokemon. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I actually, I want to, like, keep this stuff in mind going forward. We're in, you know, in two months when we're pre preparing for uh, Legends Arceus. I'm also really curious. Um, I mean, I doubt it because Di Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are one-to-one -one remakes. If any of this stuff will get slightly changed to more better fit what's going to act, wh what they're actually, like, story writing for... Legends. The three kept balance with the being, as if they formed a triangle. It's the ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. See, okay, to me, what that what that means to me, right? Okay, so, um, because you know they they show them in a triangle here. If you pay attention, it like. Mesprit's in the bottom left corner, and that's where Lake Verity is. That's where you find Mesprit. Azelf's in the bottom right corner, which that's where, uh... Is that Valor, I think? I think it's like Valor. What's the other lake called? Uh, Lake Trio. Uh, Lake Acuity, that's the other one, yeah. That's where Yuxi is. And that's in the north. And it's like the center of the region is where Mount Coronet is in the Hall of Origin, where Arceus would be. So. Saying, you know, Spear Pillar, Hall of Origin, yada, 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 you know. I'm hoping this is all stuff that we will go into in the story of Legends Arceus, but, you know. I never know with Game Freak and Pokemon Company. Homo 3! We can surf now! Oh, but to use surf outside of battle, the Heart Home Gym Badge must first be obtained. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Really? Cyrus doesn't show up here in Diamond and Pearl? That's just Platinum? Oh, he's outside. Okay, well, he doesn't come in the cave in Diamond and Pearl. There appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. Cloud strife. 
However, <laughs> is he Sephiroth now? I need a world without Cloud. I guess actually Sephiroth kind of needs Cloud. I'm here to kill Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. If you discover any power derived from the legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that power is what I need to create my new world. Dude, you're a little weird. Just saying. A little bit weird. Are there any trainers over this way? Yeah. There are. So basically what happens here is you loop around and you ba end up back in Eterna. Uh, Eterna City if you go through the cave here. If you go through the uh, through Mount Coronet here. I'll say I gotta tell you, I'm I'm actually very happy with uh, how secretive Pokemon Company is being with stuff relating to Legends Arceus. But at the same time, that might just be because they've been pu pushing all their promotion or their uh, marketing into BDSP. Who knows? Maybe maybe it's going to be like, man, I'm going to start thinking like Pokemon theories again. Be like, I'm going to sit here and be like, yeah, so I was thinking, you know. I was thinking... What if this thing, this thing, and this thing happened in Pokemon Legends Arceus? And then it's correct because I'm like, yeah, I just played the OG Pearl and then Shining Pearl back to back. So I like paid attention for stuff like that. Like it just stuck out because I'm like, oh man, Ancient Sinnoh. Ancient Sinnoh. I mean, they call it, you know, old timey wimey Sinnoh, but it may have not actually, like the time period that they chose for Legends Arceus isn't actually that long ago. Like, when you think ancient, you think, like, I don't know, 500 AD, if not BC. You know, when you're thinking ancient. But, um, based on, based on, like, dress, uh, architecture, and, you know, various other, other tidbits, um, like, interior design kind of stuff. Oh, revenge, great. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, Legends of Arceus looks to be taking place in the late 1800s. Or early 1900s. Which actually lines up with when... Um, when they... I think it's... Colonized is the proper word. Um, when they colonized... Uh, Hokkaido, which is the region of Japan that Sinnoh is based off of. Because, yeah, there's actually a lot of stuff that... We, we, a lot of stuff that they've shown us in Legends Arceus that actually matches up with real-world events that happen in Japan. And a lot of uh, real real-world Hokkaido, like, myths line up with a lot of Sinnoh myths. So... And, uh... Sinnoh and, uh, what are they calling the, uh, the old region, um, Hisuian. Sinonian and Hisuian. Which I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, like, I, I, you know, had that, that one little kid NPC be like, yeah, they say a Pokemon created the Sinnoh region, you know, and I wouldn't be surprised if what that actually means is, um, you know, created the Sinnoh region as we know it today, as Sinnoh versus as Hisui. Before Kalos dropped the Electords. Oh, the electrodes. 
I get it. I wouldn't say Kalos though. I would say I'd say Unova. Unova's our only US based uh, region. I'm strong, 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 and I really know I'm strong. I'm strong. Okay, I'm all good to go. Yeah, because Kalos was uh, France. It's kind of funny because uh, if if that's accurate, that uh, oh, does it have levitate? Is the question here? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna high jump kick. It's neutral. Fine. Yeah. Nice crit. Um, if that's if it's accurate that Legends Arceus actually only takes place like 150 to 200 years ago. Um, did I fight this ace trainer up here? I forget. Yes, I did. My brain's like, did I skip that trainer? Anyway, um, if, if the theory is ac accurate that, uh, Legends of Arceus only takes, like, takes place 150-ish years ago or whatever, um, then Kalos lore actually happens way earlier it's like all the stuff with the ultimate weapon happened 3,000 years ago which makes a lot more sense which makes a lot of sense because you know with Japan being an island nation effectively you know they are an island off the off the mainland um, and not like any subcontinent thing like India um, you know, people didn't move into Japan until more recent history. It could be Legends of Arceus takes place thousands of years ago, then a reset happens. What if, What about this? What about this? This is another theory that I've I've thought about. Legend Legends of Arceus takes place in an uh, in the future. In an alternate future, where Cyrus, you know, where the player character doesn't stop Cyrus at Spear Pillar. Oh, I don't have strength, do I? I don't have strength yet. I do have strength. Can I use strength outside of battle yet? I don't know. Oops, not cowl, fly. I mean, the implication, I mean, okay, it makes a lot more sense though with when we're talking about Sinnoh, though, because, you know, Dialga is the deity of time, Palkia is the deity of space. Giratina keeps the balance between them, you know, in the antimatter. Um, and the, the three of them were created by God himself. So, Sinnoh Lord just goes hard, it's fine. <laughs> Um, the other thing, based on one of those things I read in, or, you know, one of those dialogues I was reading in Celestic Town, or not the dialogue, there was that book I was reading in that, in that one house in Celestic Town. Um, the, the Lake Trio. Well, okay, between the book and the mural, it's like, okay, so the Lake Trio opposed Arceus. 
she wait no that makes so much more sense okay thinking thinking about this game's story right so cyrus's goal is to uh, you know the end game here is he captures the lake trio uh so he can create the red chain to pull forth the legendary pokemon which happens to be the box legendary is the you know the pokemon that he pulls forth but when we actually like under you know knowing all the pokemon knowing a little bit more about the lore the pokemon he should have pulled forth would have been arceus which is why his plan ultimately falls through um which lines up then when you look at the that myth that we just read from the mural um is that the lake trio are binding arceus with the red chain My brain matter just splattered all over the freaking Pokemon oh, lore. Why don't we get this in the anime? Honestly, if they could just make like okay, you can continue your anime with Ash. That's fine. <coughs> Please give us an anime that you know, high budget anime that has you know. A shit ton of lore. It goes into a, a just a shit ton of lore. Three plus five plus seven. That is fifteen. Yay! I should probably actually get these wrong so I can fight the trainers. Um, Piccolo, I think, is going to have to sit this out. Only thing it can really do is confusion. Actually, can't I mind reader on to hit ghosts? I think I can. Big brain strat, okay. If it comes down to it. Um, Arby's not going to have too much for me. Actually, I think I'm going to, uh, each Harpy return right now. <coughs> Ew, excuse me. He returns really good on Harpy. Um, I think I'm going to teach it over double team. Just because... It gets stab off of it. I just want to check this again. I think it was only... Well, Piccolo can learn it. Which... Piccolo's special attack equals its... Hmm... Thinking. Debating. I think that's all I really want to learn. That's 40. I'm gonna go... You know what? I'm gonna fight the trainers. Groudon and Kyogre, two Pokemon capable of super terraforming and Rayquaza keeping space invaders from coming to Earth. Yeah. Like, not only, not only is Rayquaza keeping space invaders from coming to Earth in, you know, stopping Deoxys, as that ends up being a, a plot point between, you know, it, you know, the actual timeline, you know, of events here. <laughs> it's pretty much any any of the Hoenn material that was like the Oxus is invading what the, the solution was okay send Rayquaza after it meanwhile uh I mean Rayquaza's whole purpose is to Watch from the skies. 
Make sure that Groudon and Kyogre don't do anything stupid. Honestly, most of the Pokemon games, like... Started maybe a little bit in Johto. But definitely starting with Hoenn, they started putting in these tidbits of like, yeah, in ancient times, these Pokemon did this thing. Sinnoh went really hard on it. Unova wasn't as hard on it, but definitely still did a lot of it. I figure I actually I, I get thinking about that Sinnoh is the you know a good first game to explore the legends Also, I just think about how the game that's supposed to take place in the past is probably going to have more Pokemon in it than the remakes. It's almost sad, really. Drift Loon, little lad. All right, I need the lad to die. Ah, oh, aftermath. You fool, Mr. Vis, Mr. Vis. I'm actually, you know, thinking about. It, I'm just. I don't understand why they didn't make the Pokedex of this game bigger to begin with. I don't know if they thought that it would just be a lot of Pokemon to have to see in order to get Nat Dex. That's gotta be it, right? They figured, oh, that's too many Pokemon to have to see for National Dex. And people were like, that was too easy. And they're like, okay, we'll add more. Man, I got it right. Three times thirteen is thirty-nine. With the left door. Get it wrong and you have to fight a trainer. Well, I guess I'm getting them all wrong. This girl's name is Mackenzie. Look at this aftermath bullshit. Honestly, a lot of Pokemon lore is really well thought out, and it's kind of crazy. It's kind of scary. Poopy. Poopy, scary skeletons. I think there's one more set of... One more question, I think. So this is take me straight up to Fantina. Nope. The first room's answer was 15. Dude's talking smack. 
Listen, I'm not the one sitting here with an uninvolved Pokemon. No, wait. You have a Haunter! Carrying the Haunter in the back. Why are you doing this? You could have just had two Haunters. You have one of each! You could have just had three Gengar! I would have been like, darn, that's that's too bad. Okay. Edda's got wise glasses. She's very smart. Oh, so wise. Oh, wise Edda. Look at that mischievous. You see it? No, you don't. Um. The unfortunate thing is I really don't have a good way to... But thanks for the HP, dude. Got five HP back for that. Drift Blim. Ah, the payback! And move first, it's fine. So I think... Yeah, that leads me to Fantina. So I'm gonna go heal. These elevators weren't so slow. They're slow for safety. Shut up, this is a video game. Not to mention I have to step on the middle of them. For safety. It's a video game! So that was right, middle, left? Is that what the, what the answer is? Be beat the beat the boom. Ba 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 ba. A little too slow. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna save right here, because actually this is probably gonna be a little bit of a tricky fight. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Finally you have arrived! Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. The whole contest in this city, I see for myself and then will excel. That is why I dress this way. Sestun Profanformance! Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And uh what shall be that you challenge me? But shall win, that is what a gym leader does, none. Fantina's from Kalos. Magnifique. <laughs> Try to hit it with a shockwave! to do a little bit more. Not the Astonish! 30 HP, okay.
I'm gonna be very lucky with the confusion. Nice level up. Ooh, straight for the Miss Magius. Um, that really doesn't have anything for Miss Magius. I don't know Shadow Ball yet. But I think I go for Torterra. I bring Jupiter out, we just bite. Lunch Crunch Bite. Jupiter! Yeah! Okay, to the KO, that's fine. That pops the citrus. Citrus should pull it up high enough that she doesn't use a super potion. I think. Yep. Uh, I should have used a super potion though. We live in! We didn't hit ourselves in confusion! Oh! Way to go, Jupiter! but certainly not least is Genga. Oh heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Why does Gengar have three feet? <laughs> I think future Gengar sprites don't include the tail between its legs. Never give up, never surrender. I'm just looking here. Okay, Platinum uses that fr uses this frame in its animation, but yeah, they sh <laughs> they shift Gengar's sprite so that it doesn't stand like that. Kind of looks like a taint. Gengar's confused. Okay, poison jab. I should be able to take that. That's a crit. Damn. Resist that in this gen, though. That's great. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. You're so fantastically strong. I missed the rest of the dialogue. I don't know what she said. By the time I get my Twitch dashboard up. Yep, it was too late. I'm dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, are so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. That's number five, baby. Where we at? Two hours and two gym badges, dude. Let's be you surf outside of battle. Game 65, that is Shadow Claw. 
Um, we can learn Shadow Claw. Just in the event that that comes in handy in the future. No. Okay. I. We out this bitch. I'm gonna speed this up because this elevator is slow. Uzi. Hey, Cynthia. So glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for what you did in the ruins. But that Team Galactic, I thought they were just an eccentric bunch of freaks. You know, talking about how they're going to make a new universe and all, and that weird way they dress too, I thought they were harmless. It appears as if they're a lot more trouble than I thought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon, that's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Candlelight City. They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It may also be of help to the completion of your Pokedex. I think you ought to go there. Okay, bye-bye for now. Don't gotta tell me twice. So, to get to Candelay, we go back to Jubilife. Um, do have access to Surf now. Um, yeah, Jinbei can learn Surf. I will teach Jinbei Surf. Because it's 95 power. Uh, I'll teach it over water gun for right now. The move pool is gonna be interesting here. Um, 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 um. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna put Harpy in the lead. I think Harpy's actually the next one that will uh, evolve. Bravia. What level was that? Okay, it was 34. I was gonna say 34, but I couldn't remember if that was right. It just, it didn't feel right. But okay. Ooh, the West. Our two way teen up ahead is a great. A uh, great fishing hole that's un almost unknown to people. Yes, sir. An old rod is a good thing. Oh, this is where I get the old rod. Dude, I already got a good rod. I didn't want the tips. I hit no. I don't want the tech tips. Jinbei, you surf. It's so painful. Honey. Oh, honey! I see, she didn't pe pick me, Marie, today. Look at this Gyarados. Oh, it saw through my ruse. We're just gonna... 
Duckwave. Thirty-seven wants to learn Shadow Ball. Could've had, I could have used that a little bit ago. Um, I think I get rid of Paint Split. I just I skipped through the stats again. Eighty-one special attack plus ten percent from the Wise Glasses. Oh, good! What can I go beat up that has a special attack EV yield? Ah, uh, I just need to find Wild Charizard. Oh, Gengar gives three special attack. Neat. Um. <laughs> Just like a Pokemon I can easily encounter over and over. I guess I could go to the the old chateau and just like fight a bunch of ghastlies and haunters. And go find Roselia's. thing that I was like, man, I really, you know, want to, you know, ma min-max my stats here. Yeah, yeah, nothing's biting. Man has five Pokemon and he leads with the Magikarp and terrified. Are you kidding me? Ah, Gyarados, good. I just want to see how much return. Oh. How much is that, is that compared to Aerial Ace? Okay. That is substantially better. I did have to deal with that Intimidate, so I am at minus one attack, but. Probably still would have only been a three hit KO. Um. Minus one attack really hurts. Help me out here. Man of the seas is also a man of Pokemon. I mean, okay. Get to add man type to my decks. I need to start clicking return instead of aerial ace. I ain't dealing with this shit. Get this Gyarados out of my face. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's stab on Shadow Ball, it's also stronger. I mean, not gonna be stronger than a Shockwave against Gyarados, but yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should switch. I still think that Luxio and Luxray should be part dark. Takedown, you say? Well, return is just better than takedown, so. Pineapple berries. Iggy berry. Thurston berry. Frost berry. We found the Ross berry. Ah, bad gastrodon. I did it again. I clicked area lace to return. Dexter. Well, that's a fine hello. I'm crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Dawn's father. Dawn has multiple fathers. <laughs> you were supposed to put it in the software here. Ka chunk, ka chunk. Well done, I've upgraded your Pokedex. I should explain how it's been upgraded, shouldn't I? It can now display images of male and female Pokemon. Oh, ba -ba -bum. Boy, I sure am thirsty. What's up? Your clothes look damp. Are you swimming at the beach right by Sand Gym Town? Somewhere beyond the sea, there are other islands populated, or other lands populated by Pokemon and trainers. Yeah? This is something I found. It was mixed in with a load of cargo from another country. It's not anything that I can use, so I think you should take it. DM48! What is CM48 in this game again? Uh, skill swab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you uh, teach Slow King skill swap and partner it up with a slacking, and then you just swap those. And well, that's a repeat ball. I can buy myself some revives now. I'm gonna buy max repels now. I have 20 of them. Never mind. That's right. I picked I picked up a bunch of them when we got to Veilstone because the department store is like, yeah, you can just have everything. Who cares? Break the game. We don't care. Hmm. Who did I say I was again? Oh yes, I remember now. I'm the move deleter. Not yet. I don't want to have to carry. Uh, HM slave if I don't need to. Harbor in the text is too faded to read. The door is tightly shut. It appears impossible to open. If only there was a way to open this door! Maybe in another playthrough. I can't use the hidden move strength until I beat Byron, the gym leader. I already got the strength HM from the Lost Tower on Route 209 also. Oh, that's fun. She tells you literally where to go. See, I was- I, I went through Lost Tower because I was like, Oh, yeah, 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 I have to go there for defog. This is where you get defog and platinum. Okay, um, 
Well, I think before we take on Byron, the gym leader, uh, we need to do some training. We need to do a rival battle. You're going to challenge the gym leader battle pass here, eh? Someone should check to see if you're ready for this challenge. That someone is me with my brand new gym badge. Well, that should mean if I beat you after you beat the gym leader, that I beat the gym leader. Boy finally has a star avia, dude. We're gonna switch out to Ada to deal with the star avia. I'm going to try to not use Edda too much until we're done with this gym, I think. Um, what is uh, Byron's max level? 39. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, I didn't see what Pokemon was next. I'll just switch, <laughs> switch Harpy and we're switch training Harpy. This Harpy is almost 34, which means we almost have a Star Raptor. Ah, Weasel. How are you playing this? I'm playing this uh, via emulator. I'm using an emulator called Melon DS. Yes, it just, it, uh, Melon DS just requires a few BIOS files that you need to rip from actual hardware or otherwise obtain. And I'm not going to talk about that because that's a legal gray area. Um, 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 um. But most emulators are free. And if they're not, they're scams. TBH. Monferno. Actually, I could stay out from Monferno. Yeah, Staravia just kind of deals with Barry's team. Barry, your team is weak to flying. Man, Poke MMO. I haven't played Poke MMO in years. Should have just used Quick Attack. I'm like right there. Is Poke MMO still just like Fire Red Leaf Green? Cause I, I the last time I I tried Poke MMO, it was just Fire Red Leaf Green. But you could import the like um sprites from uh Hard Gold and Silver. Um, um, I wasn't paying attention to what Pokemon was coming next. Oh, right, Rosalia. <laughs> like, what Pokemon of his have I not fought yet? The one I could have stayed out for, but whatever. We'll spread the, the EXP around.
I like how I, I just googled Poke MMO and it's like people also ask, is Poke MMO safe 2020? Does Poke MMO have a virus? God. You play black and white, gold and silver, and platinum and emerald. Oh, neat. Required compatible ROMs Black White 1. Current optional content compatible ROMs Fire Red Emerald Platinum. Current optional uh, visuals compatible ROMs Hard Gold Soul Silver. Huh. Yeah, I remember when I when I last messed around with Poke MMO, it was like required compatible ROM was Fire Red and optional visuals compatible ROM was Hard Gold Soul Silver. Jeez. Staravia! RP is evolving. Yay, we have a Star Raptor now! Good shit. Diamond was your first game on DSi? That's awesome. Um, when I first got my DS Lite, um, I didn't get any games for it for a while, actually, so I was just playing my GBA games on it. Because it ended up replacing my game, my, my GBA SP. Um, close combat, my dude. Close combat, my dude. Oh, I forgot it learns close combat. Do I get rid of quick attack for that? I don't want to get rid of return, obviously. I don't want to get... Like, these were TMs. I don't want to... Waste them. Yeah, we get rid of quick attack. Screw it. Um. Anyway, what I was trying to get at, uh, Pearl, Pokemon Pearl was the second or third game I got on my DS. I think the first was like Brain Age. came first on DS Zelda or Pokemon uh when did Phantom Hourglass come out Phantom Hourglass might have beat Pokemon 2 do, 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 do. let me look here Hourglass Phantom Hourglass initial release date June 2007 October 2007 in North America I think it depends on which region we're talking about. So we're talking JP. Diamond and Pearl. It was Diamond and Pearl in both regions. Diamond and Pearl came out in Japan September 2006, uh, North America April 2007. And Phantom Hourglass was June 2007, JP October 2007, NA. You know, I've never played the DS Zelda games. This will heal up.
players, you know you could just teach Fly to your Star Raptor so you don't have to carry that Noctowl around. Yeah, but do I want an HM on my on my bird? Do I want a two-turn flying type attack on my bird that has a great move pool, move set already? Sorry, I'm talking to myself again. They told me I wouldn't look crazy, but I, I still feel crazy. Look at this. Steel Wing Return Close Combat Aerial Ace? I'm... We're Gucci, fam. You want to see here, uh... Star Raptor. Uh... Gets Agility at 41. Gets Brave Bird at 49. Bruh. Bravery was introduced in this... Yeah, Bravery was introduced in this generation. That's raw. That's absolutely raw. So yeah, Aerial Ace is going to be replaced with Brave Bird. And then it's just going to be... Star Raptor is just going to be metal as fuck. Ba ba ba... Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Hello, I'm with Jubilife TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Guess. What is your favorite Pokemon type from this list? This. This is a list of all of them. What do you mean, this list? Fire type. That's it. I want to be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men. Even the sea doesn't scare him. Oh, but a gym leader would be cool too. Byron is so awesome. Our boy has too much energy. I wish he'd be a little quieter. You're not going to be saying that by the end of the game when he's trapped in his bed. You want to set sail? Yeah, let's go to Iron Island. Training montage, let's go. Trax is good personally. Don't like Phantom because that one puzzle needed me to close the DS, which has never been used before. That's fair. <laughs> I like the typo of never, never sued, which was never sued before. We sued the DS for making it close, making us close it to do the puzzle. Okay, that was a little too obvious, but there was an item there. There's nobody here. Iron Island. What if I told you we're getting our final party member here? It's not going to be until one of the lower levels, but we will be getting our final party, uh, party member here. He likes to camp. Donkey. 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 Its name is Donkey. mad that it poisoned me. Not like just normal poison, it's it's toxic. Is it a rock type? No. Actually, you know what? Don't waste the full heals. I don't have antidotes. <laughs> it's rock adjacent. <laughs> Is this Graveler? It's not that. It's not Graveler. Out of my face, Graveler.
Ooh. Iron Ball. You know what, actually, it's, I, I'm not going to find the Pokemon I want until the later, like, the end of this area anyway, so I might as well throw a Repel up. Although, yeah, I just thought about that. The levels are really close to where I'm at. Nice crit. I'm still going to find some wild Pokemon. Let me guess, level 33 is probably the max that you know, wild Pokemon can be on this floor, isn't it? Hey, Super Repel to make up for the one that I'm using. And partially wasting. Yo, Onyx. How unexpected. No! No! Okay, good. Nice crit. No! <laughs> That's the rare candy, the super potion. There you go. You know, when I think about it, does does the manga just, like, have a Neo for every team? I know there's, like, Neo Team Rocket, and there's... Is there a Neo Team Magma and Neo Team Aqua? I can't believe it. Literally, they actually switched out on me. can't believe this. strong so strong <laughs> so strong oh i know what that that's from dokapon i'm like what is that quote from what am i quoting I mean, even I don't know what I'm quoting. Bing. I just ran right in front of this man. The working class hero says hi! Well, hello, working class hero. How are you doing today? Um, if I keep Piccolo in the lead, I should be a Medicham coming out of this. If we fight everyone in this area. Okay, when I run out of super repels, I can switch over to max repels. Ooh, Iron Tail. That may be useful to have. Graveler.
There must be an item here. There's gotta be. Called it. Okay. I might just leave the dowsing machine up for now. I have a feeling 33 must be the max level on this floor, at least. There he be. You are? Okay, you're Ryan. I'm Riley. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. If you'd like, we could team up. The wild Pokemon here are restless. If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. The repel wore off. Maurice and Damon. I'm going to use confusion on the Zubat. Look at that Luca Rio. Cool, on the same level as Lucario. Ow. Goodbye, Lucario. Rock smash. Shit. Uh, go Jinbei. I hate that the partner trainers only have one Pokemon. But why would you design it this way? You're kidding me. You're joking. You're pulling my leg. I'm gonna beat you into submission. Please don't. Dude, Sandstorm. Do -do 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 -do. Watching a bird use close combat is pretty great. Ultra Ball. One singular ball of Ultra. He always goes for the weaker one, and I don't understand why. Look at that steel. Why is that Steelix floating? Steelix is floating. Ooh, not quite. It's only gonna hurt Piccolo. at this point that that didn't give me a level I'm amazed how close seven all right wow okay wasn't really expecting that I was expecting it to be a while before it was like yeah that's not gonna give you a level up
One HP up. Actually, when this repel wears off, I'm gonna not apply another one. Cause I think, I think I can uh, find the Pokemon I'm looking for on this floor. Just fishing for the para? That seems ridiculous. Psych up? No, forget that. Forget it. Forget about it. We got Onyx and a gold bag. Take the extra EXP for the wild battles, though. You know, ain't gonna hurt nobody. Get a little boy to the air cutter. Nice. Is doing enough? Almost. Fame. Ooh, graveler. The game's like, what if there were two? I don't know, do they know self-destruct at this level? Oh god, they know self-destruct at this level! Disappointing. in this matchup. We bone ring the yeah bone rushed on Ponyta, making it useless for me to send out my water type. It's worth it. I got a level. I can roll out into the Pelipper. Game plays itself for a little bit now. Oh, come on. That was mean. This is mean. And it was a crit. That hurts. That, that hurt. Maybe you should have targeted the flood so. Hindsight is 2020. Because the Citadel Widow is definitely going to drop rocks on me. Yeah, it's a rock slide. Jeez, this fight kicked my ass. Hell. Glad this isn't a Nuzlocke. Like. Double edge. Thinking. If I got rid of Bubble Beam, or 
double edge. You know, because I'm trying to be an offensive Pokemon here, you know. One more level and I got, uh... Oh. That way. Must be... Up this way. Hey! Steelix! How you doing, buddy? As long as Lucario doesn't kill it. I missed! No! I'm trying to kill the Lucario. Looks like Lucario actually isn't doing too much damage to the Steelix. Jeez. Oh, okay. Get the Onyx out of there. Any Steelixes that I see I'm going to catch going through here. Since they're all going to go to the PC anyway, we won't see it until we get out of here. That's easy. Um, I need a nickname for Steelix. We've been kind of just making anime references with all these names. Was it male or female? I wasn't paying that much attention. Name it Shasta. Why would I name it Shasta? Male. Game Freak wouldn't put beer in Pokemon. <laughs> um. This anime is just Steven Universe. <laughs> I mean, I can't be too surprised, right? What is actually the name of this anime? I just ended up in a spot. Uh, Oseki no Kuni? Land of the Lustrous is the English name.
Sorry, I ended up on the GEMS page, which GEMS are an immortal humanoid species made of inorganic minerals that inhabit the land of the planet. Um, I read a synopsis of the, the main character. Let me see here. Where did it go? I lost it, actually. I don't know where it went. Uh... The boy has a crystal inside his body that can make him transform. I'm like, Steven Universe? I'm naming it Obsidian. Just remembered I'm doing all caps. Is that how you spell Obsidian? That looks wrong. That is right. Oh wait, no, I put an extra I in it. Obsidian. It's still alive, I think. No. Didn't grab me in two episodes, got bored real fast. That's unfortunate. Mom! I'm gonna name this one Obsidian. We're gonna... There. Oh, it's down there. Okay. There's n really? There's nothing at the end of this path? I'm trying to get Meditate to 37. I missed! No! The one problem with high jump kick. It's risk reward for sure. The sandstorm's gonna kill me. No. I hit 37 though. I hit 37 before I fainted, baby. <laughs> uh, damn. I need an ice move for Jinpei. I think I may have to go out of my way to uh, get ice beam or something. I'm not actually sure. What can uh, actually? What can? Let me look here. Uh. Learn set. Gen 4. Nothing but level up, but it does learn Ice Beam Blizzard. Hail. If this were platinum, I could move to it or at Ice Punch. Well, ice Punch is kind of what I would want, I think. That is 38. What? Piccolo is dead, but evolving! I mean, it's fainted, but you know. We got us a Medicham. So now that we have a Medicham, uh, I do need to go into the underground. save real quick. We've seen 101 of the 150 Pokemon in the Sinnoh decks. If I remember right, the main protag of that anime is super fragile. That's a shame. Or do you mean like a fragile stone? Like fragile as a character or fragile as like that? That's the characterization. Literally. Okay. To look at Piccolo now. I didn't even look at the stat change, but just feel the power oozing from him. Still can't one shot a gold bat with confusion, but I mean, I I'm not expecting too much there. I'm disappointed he doesn't learn anything better than confusion by level up. Sixty-four special attack, sixty-one attack. The pure power boosts the power of physical attacks. So okay, wait, wait. I always forget the difference between pure power and uh, huge power.
Your power doubles the attack stat of the Pokemon with this ability. Huge power. Pure power? Wait. Pure power and huge power do the same thing. These could just be the same ability. Why does Meditite... Why does Meditite and Medicham need to have pure power as its signature ability when it does the exact same as huge power? Which prior to Gen 6 was the Meryl Line's signature ability. They're the same thing. That's dumb. You're sitting here confusing me because they have different descriptions, but they do the exact same thing. So yeah, it doubles my physical attack stats, so technically it's a 122. If I use physical moves, so honestly even using confusion isn't even worth it, technically. Uh... There's not... No. Okay. I can't get a Zen head button, Diamond and Pearl. That's unfortunate. The best I can do is get it Psychic, which where's TM29 in this game? Uh, Veilstone Game, Veilstone Game Corner and Route. 211. Whoa, we're on 211. Requires rock climb and rock smash. Okay, it's in that section. Oh boy! Let me tell you. Huge power if acquired via trace, roleplay, skill swap, or entertainment will boost. Will only boost your attack 1.5 times. Pure power will double your attack regardless of whether you have the ability naturally or not. That's the only difference. Really? I didn't see that on the, the Bulbapedia page, huh? I believe you. I just didn't see that on the, the thing. Interesting. Well, um, now that Piccolo is evolved, I'm gonna switch Jinbei into the front, I think. From Pokemon DB? Okay. I believe that. I trust Pokemon DB. <laughs> I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, it's been a little over three hours and I haven't had a bathroom break yet, so I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in... Just a second, uh, let's see here. This says food break. I needed to say, no, maybe not, I don't want to say like intermission. I want to say like bio break. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to just change this so it says bio break. Uh, center, horizontally. My brain, like, couldn't figure that one out. Okay. Anyway, I'll be right back.
bio break use a gif of anime Yosuke when he needs to pee? Could. I need to pee! Persona 4 anime Yosuke need to pee. I found one. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. That can go there in the next bio break. Uh, I need to rename this. Break. I can group these together then. Then instead, actually, what I can do is this, this, okay. See, and then it would just be like that. It's brilliant. I'm dumb. Oh, hey, we found the same, the same gift. That's great. Here with my boy Yosuke. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I thought stupid image. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Okay. I clicked the break instead of the melon DS. All right, there we go. I can actually change the scene collection around because I don't need. I'm building out a new scene collection for the Endwalker stuff. Oh, I forgot to grab a new another water bottle. Crapola. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into my mind. We're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So, what? That's what we're gonna do. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island. To share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Come on, Ryan. This is one battle we can't lose.
What happened to comic book guy Grunt? Was he fired? Uh, he's he's back at the uh, the hideout. He's in the Veilstone uh, HQ. He'll come back later. As soon as I can remember how I did that voice. That hits. That hits a party member in this generation. Again, these are grunts. I'm going to speed it up. Big fan of that only needing the first roll from rollout. Like, why are these grunts so weak? I fought more difficult trainers to get here. I don't understand why the game has to make the grunts incompetent, like completely incompetent. Like they give them some pretty decent Pokemon, like you know, Krogunk's not bad, Stunky's not bad, Golbat's not bad. They're just like always the lowest level in the, in the thing. Does the grunts have a type? You're just good at fighting that. Yeah, I guess. It's just, I hate that it's true across every game. Stop. I said, stop. Your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon. Let's beat a partner. You said it, brother. I don't even remember what the voices were that I gave them before the fight. We don't even know what Team Galactic's big plan is anyway. Thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. God damn it, I forgot. I'm supposed to leave a spot in my party because this generation doesn't just warp it to your box. Yeah, thank you, but you don't have room to take another Pokemon. All right, then. I'll wait here for you. Yeah, okay, I don't need it. I'm like, do I do I bother spending the time? It's the Riolu, isn't it? Yeah, it is the Riolu. That that egg is the Riolu. Um I was like, uh do I go out of my way to Hey, look another Steelix. Do I go out of my way to go go back to the mainland, drop a Pokemon off of the PC, come back and get this egg? The only reason I would is if there was no trainers that had you know, had one for me to to see. Uh, there is one trainer in the entire game that has one. There's two trainers in, in Platinum that have a real Lou. But there is one in Diamond and Pearl. And we'll just go fight him. Um, roll out. Paralyze. Bitch. Work with me here. Come on, Steelix, work with me here. more difficult than the last one.
I hate that I got so lucky on the first Steelix. Obviously, that means this is the better Steelix. And I hate that that shook three times. You piece of crap. There we go. Okay. Um. List of mineral and gems. The list of gems. Got it. This one's a snarky asshole. His name is Jade. Just got wrecked by a goddamn jerk. Felix. Shiny stone. I don't need that. If I was running a toga kit. Well, actually. Ogupi's not available in this game until post game. What uses shiny stone? Roserade? I think. Yeah, Roserade. But ever if I was running Roselia, I'd have a Roselia up until this point. That's ugh. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -ba -da -da -bum. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sail somewhere? Yeah, I want to go home. Hey, sail me to Twinleaf Town. Fun thing is that this trainer that has the Riolu is actually competently leveled to where we are now. Like, right now would be a good time to go and fight him. And I might do it now just so I don't forget. Just tried to use Star Raptor to fly. We'll go to Orberg City, because it's in uh, Orberg Gate. I think I need a strength user. So we're gonna have to grab our Bibberol. When we get rid of Defog for an actual move. Well, Defog's on Noctowl, it don't matter. Like, Noctowl's a slave. Noctowl's got Defog. Gotta grab friend. Uh, we'll put Etta in the box for now. Oh yeah, we gotta check out our, our Steelix's. Steelix eye. So we've got Obsidian. Who is timid. Okay. Look at that defense though. And Jade, who is naughty. Ooh. Naughty Jade. <laughs> God, what is wrong with me? A lot wrong with me, but we're not gonna talk about it. Felix, naughty, uh, highly curious, level 34, HP 95, 73 attack, 145 defense, 52, 45, and 30. Okay, and That was a 30 special attack. Um, attack, defense, and speed are mid. 
HP and special defense are Garbo. Obsidian's defense is better and HP, but the attack stat is way worse. Oh no. Which, which are you? You're timid. Yeah, because you're timid. Timid is useless. What are you? Good endurance. 33 with 98, 54, 146, 49, 55, 33. Yeah, 28 defense. The attack is either a 0, 1, or 2. Um, I think on that, we're going to go with Jade. I think I can make, I, I think just having Timid on, an, on a Steelix is just not good. Yeah, we have the same, we're going to take Jade. Jade will join the party as soon as we're done with our excursion here. Oh, I need to take uh, Rock Smash off of Piccolo. Wonderful slave friend. Our wonderful friend. You can also learn surf. You can learn cut. I think so. Yeah. Got one slot left for when we get rock climb. I expect him to take me off the bike for some reason. Pickle is the first one in my party, so it's gonna choose him. I should throw a rappel up. forgets to put a rappel up right after he said I should put a rappel up Woo. things that happen in my brain things that happen in my brain speaking of things that happen in my brain I'm wearing brand new socks and man are they they just they're just they just feel nice I like how they feel uh where are those max repels go Low use rock smash. See, that's the one thing that the, uh, the remakes got right. I don't need to have this these moves on my Pokemon. Uh, 
actually, it's like I even don't I don't even have to have a Pokemon that can learn this move on my you know party. I just use my Pokatch and Pokemon come to me. Should I be drinking another thing of G Fuel? Probably not. Probably going overboard on this, but enjoy responsibly. There's the TM for Brick Break. Always good to have. I think I could have actually just avoided the ramps if I surfed. Which I have to surf anyway, so... The disappointing thing is it's walking speed. I'm a veteran, yes, but don't you dare treat me like a senior citizen! Okay, we've seen Riolu. <laughs> kind of funny because I think uh, I think even like Maryland's like where to find you know where easiest way to see every Pokemon in the Sinnoh region video from I think Platinum. Or no, I think it is the Diamond and Pearl one, because there's actually an easier trainer to get to in Platinum that has a Riolu. Um, but that video, I think, even has, like, just hatched the egg. From Iron Island. And it's like, well, actually, this is technically an easier way to find Riolu. You never have to go to Iron Island. It's like, once you have Surf, you can just come fight this guy. He Rock Smash and Surf. Think of it. I I know I've used Azumarill before, but I think it was for like pseudo competitive teams that I actually was like, man, Azumarill's great. I don't think I've ever actually used Azumarill for an in-game team. That Star Raptor. speeding up this fight. Ooh. Please, 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 please. No. Unfortunate. I want Jinbei to get that EXP. Even though it's only half of what it is now. I feel like I'm probably at some point going to regret not having uh, Quick Attack. But I feel like Return's going to come through for me. Right, I need the Canalave Gym Badge to use Strength. Forgot that detail. I don't even remember what that item is anyway. 
See, I just tried to fly with Harpy again, and I'm like, no, Harpy doesn't have fly. Into the party at 34, like, damn. Who do you have? Sandstorm Slam, Rock Polish, and Dragon Breath. Um, do I have a, I don't have a page four. I could reuse this page. I don't have a Meditite anymore, and I already have a page open for... Medicham. Ooh, if this was Platinum, you'd learn Curse at 38. Okay, instead you learn Iron Tail at 38. That's not too bad. Physical attack is much better, so slam is probably going to be the optimal choice. Uh, definitely going to be the Pokemon I teach the Earthquake TM to. Which is in Wayward Cape. Is that in the section where I find... Uh, a small room access from the end of B1F. Yeah, that's in the section where I find Gibble, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I'll have to go there to get Earthquake for Jade. Also teach it Iron Tail. Any other steel moves that would be otherwise be good for it? Maybe Gyro Ball. Base power equals min blah 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 blah. So inflicts more damage the slower the user is compared to the target, therefore the larger the relative difference between the users and the target speed stat, the greater the damage. might actually be a good choice for Jade. Maybe. Also has access to Flash Cannon, but that's special, and I'm not really... If this were Platinum, I could move Tudor Iron Head. Stone Edge at 49. <laughs> if I don't want to teach it by TM. Which the TM's in Victory Road, so I'll 
I'll be there anyway. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any TMs I want to teach it right now, then. But I need strength before I can go get Earthquake. I need to be able to use strength outside of battle, I should say. I could teach it Swagger. Stealth Rock. You know what? Big brain plays, right? We give it Stealth Rock. Over Sandstorm. I'm not working a Sandstorm team here. teaching that Rock Tomb TM to it for now. It's not stab for it, so that's why I'm, like, debating. It might be worth... Rock Polish sharply raised the speed stat. How useful is Dragon Breath going to be? I'm gonna get rid of Rock Polish. Um, it'll naturally learn Iron Tail in just a few levels. At 38, I'm not too worried about that. I think I'm gonna give it the EXP share. Be sure to Jade. Jupiter, are you still holding the metronome? You are. Okay. I'm gonna put Jupiter in the lead position. Our team is coming together. Oh, I can get rock smash off of piccolo I think it's kind of funny because since they put um, this is kind of a bad place for them to have put um, for them to have put the move deleter. Because the thing that I think you might, it might, the game might actually outsmart you. Now that I think about it. As I say, the, a thing that the game would probably stop you from doing. Um, so, okay, thing, thing I was thinking you could probably do to soft lock yourself is um, get in a state where you're just out of money, don't have any Pokeballs. Zero money, zero Pokeballs. Um, you use the move deleter to get rid of, you know, any Pokemon that can, you know, any Pokemon that knows Surf, you have them forget Surf, and then you release all the Pokemon that can learn Surf. So you have no Pokeballs, and you have no Pokemon that can learn Surf. And if you have no Pokemon that can learn Fly, you can just soft lock yourself in Candlelight. I think you can do that in Diamond and Pearl, and Platinum fixed it. Like, Platinum has a safeguard for it. I think I've seen that before. Where you end up just stuck on this side of the region because you can't go anywhere. Okay, let's hit the gym. It's been almost four hours. We need to do another badge. I'm like, 
We're we're at five. We'll shine the badges later. <laughs> Deal type Pokemon. I seem to remember this gym either having like all the same steel type Pokemon or not having very many at all. At this point in the series, the only pure steel type Pokemon was Ready Steel. Um. I could EQ. I'm gonna EQ. Both of my options I think were two times super effective and they got stabbed. The earthquake was the stronger of the two. And it's still in KO, so who am I to judge? Nope, that's normal effective, okay. I made the better choice then. My repel wore off. Oh no. What if I get attacked by wild Pokemon? In the gym. This isn't Gen 1. This guy's just like, I got an Onyx. A level 28. I'm like, been there, done that. Mm -hmm. Dude, you need to go train on Iron Island a little bit more. Even the wild onyx on on Iron Island were more strong. More strong. They were stronger than that. They were more stronger. -er. Where? Where's the window? Dude has three onyx and just three level twenty-eight onyx. Like really? Why we gotta be like this? Level 31 Onyx. Oh, at least it has Iron Tail though. Like the amount of trainers in this game that have an Onyx, I'm just like, why? Why don't you have a Steelix? Like me. Steelix is so cool. Oh. Okay, well, that tells me which one it is. There's so many trainers in this gym, too. That just, like, don't match the theme, even. Like, this guy's got a Skorupi! Why is there a Skorupi trainer here? Oh, okay, it's okay. He's got a Steelix in the back. Uh, I think I go north. I think that's the way I go, but is there... If there's a trainer there, it's probably the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Gerardo! Good right. Like this is a black belt. Like I, I know black belts, you know, typically sometimes have rock type Pokemon, but you know, it's like everyone in this gym has an Onyx or a Steelix. And more often than not, it's an Onyx. Like this is a steel type gym. This gym doesn't prepare me to fight steel types, it prepares me to fight Onyx.
Like, where's the trainers that have, like, shield-ons? And you can have one that just has a lower level Bastiodon, too. I love Bastiodon! Check a thing real quick. Give me a sec. Ooh, I don't think it's happy. Ooh, okay. Hey, wow, I clicked right in the right spot. Check a thing real quick. Easy puzzle. I might say too easy. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Almost my entire team is actually like fit to fight steel types. Almost. Hey, that's the Orbic Gym Badge! I see, I see, you've defeated my son! That's no surprise, he still has much to learn! In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will take your challenge! Challenge by leader, Byron. Man's is gonna lead with the Bronze Ore. Uh, is it a levitate bronzor? Do I take that chance? I think it is levitate. It sure is. Oh, that's a shame. I feel like I'm doing quite enough damage here. We're gonna go to Etta. That was a cool animation. <laughs> Didn't do much, but it was cool. I think Steel Resist... Yeah, Steel Resist Ghost, but... Doesn't have that special defense. Keep up with it. Um, do I think the AI heals this turn? It's his first Pokemon, so he probably oh he does. I went for the confuse rate because it didn't really matter which way, which way the AI went on that one. Um, confuse chance permitting. This is the two hit KO. I think it's two hit KO even if it hits itself in confusion. Come up next. Uh, I'm gonna go Jinbei. Doo, doo, 
Surf right on over that Steelix. The Steelix carry Ice Fang just for the ground types? This team like walls ground types, what? Why is that the concern? All right, here it comes. Um, I was thinking going Harvey for the close combat, but I could go Piccolo for the high jump kick. Or I could go Jupiter for the EQ. Piccolo is much, that, that would actually be a lot more. I'm gonna go Piccolo. I love Bats Neodon! Oh yeah, I forgot I, I deleted a move. Um, play it safe. You fool. So much power! Unlimited power! I can't believe I one-shot the Bastiodon. Holy shit, dude. You were strong enough to take down my prized team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I give you this. The Mind Badge. That's number six, my dudes. Is all Pokemon up to level 70 will obey without question. DM91. Is that Flash Cannon? Yeah. May lower the po opponent's special defense. You just have one go left, no. Have to make me run in a circle. Hey, that's the Mind Badge. Good going. You're tough enough to consider becoming the Pokemon Champ. Of course, I'm tougher, so it's not actually going to happen. Anyways, Ryan, come with me to the library. Thanks for not holding my hand to the library. I'm going to go heal. I have this powerful team. Hello, this is the Candlelight Library. Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. Okay, I can run inside here. What is it? Please don't disturb me when I'm reading. Ceiling high bookshelves are crammed with books. Shelves are lined with books, worn from being read by many people. I want more Poke lore. on the third floor are easy to read. The ones down here are all too tough for me to understand. That must be the case for me too. Please refrain from bringing food or beverages into the library. Hey Ryan, over here this way.
Okay, Grams, I brought Ryan, like I said. All right, I'll be out of here. Okay, I get it. Hmm. Everyone's finally here. Or here finally. Ryan, everyone, listen. You may have forgotten already, but I studied the evolution of Pokemon. But the more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. Pokemon that evolve and those that don't. What makes them different from each other? Do those that are immature as living beings evolve to ones more mature? If so, what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Are we to assume that the legendary Pokemon are complete as creatures? This is where you three come in. In the three lakes of Sinnoh, there are said to be Mirage Pokemon. If we can obtain data on them, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. I need help from each one of you on this grand undertaking. Help me find these Pokemon that are considered to be Mirages. What are you saying? I didn't get no Pokedex! And who was it that bolted from the lab before I had the chance to give you a Pokedex? Well, that's one water under the bridge. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you and becoming a better trainer, too. You can count on me. I, it will help with my Pokedex, too. Ryan, you'll go, too, won't you? Hmm. I would have made all of you go regardless. Anyway. Now there are three lakes. Fortuitously, there are three of you. You should therefore split up and investigate the lakes individually. Dawn, you go to Lake Verity. Will do. Barry, I want you to investigate Lake Aquity. That would take you almost to Snowpoint City. The road there is harsh. I need a tough trainer to go. Ha, huh. yeah, of course. Gramps, you know how to call it. You can tell I'm the hotness. And that leaves Ryan with Lake Valor. The lake is, is between Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Is it stopped? Are all of you unharmed? Let's go outside, but be careful. I'm concerned about the city. Ryan, hurry along, but beware of aftershocks. Feeling wobbly. Even though the tremor has ended, my knees still feel like jelly. Was that an earthquake? I didn't imagine it. On this floor, you'll find many books on the myths and legends of the Sinnoh region. Let's go, lore dump time. This book is titled Veilstone's Myth. Want to read it? Veilstone's Myth. A young man, callow and foolish in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Larders grew bare. The young man seeking the missing Pokemon journey of, journeyed afar. Long did he search, and far and wide too, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs we will exact a toll. From your kind we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must be to guard ourselves for, and for it I apologize. To the skies the young man shouted his dismay, and having found the sword I have lost so much. Gorged with power I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again, this sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, the Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. Jesus Christ! Sinnoh's myth. Three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove, deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deeper, deeper they dove. Into suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they rise again. Okay. Sinnoh region's mythology. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. 
That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass. Betray not your anger, lest question mark, question mark, question mark will come. The what? Weep not with sorrow, or will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come natural as the very air, that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of Master. Those words were spoken often as customary. The original story. In the beginning, there was only a churning turmoil of chaos. At the heart of chaos, where all things became one, appeared an egg. Having tumbled from the vortex, the egg gave rise to the original one. From itself, two beings the original one did make. Time started to spin. Space began to expand. From itself again, three living beings the original one did make. The two beings wished, and from them, matter came to be. The three living things wished, and from them, spirit came to be. The world created, the original one took to unyielding sleep. Look not into the Pokemon's eyes. In but an instant, you'll have no recollection of who you are. Return home, but how, when there is nothing to remember? Dare not touch the Pokemon's body. In but three short days, all emotions will drain away. Above all, above all, harm not the Pokemon. In a scant five days, the offender will grow immobile in, in, in entirety. There's a bunch of bulk stories in this one. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in a sea or stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When the bones are as clean as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully fleshed and it begins anew. Okay. There lives a Pokemon in a forest. In the forest, the Pokemon shed its hide to sleep as a human. Hello? Awakened, the human dons the Pokemon hide to roam villages. There once were Pokemon that became very close to humans. This is the infamous one. There once were humans and Pokemon that ate together at the same table. There was a time when there existed no differences to dis distinguish the two. That's the infamous one where in Japanese it implies they fuck. This is the kid's game! Yeah, bestiality is natural. Sorry I'm late, guys. I had to read. The tremor. That wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, all do to kids! All do to kids! So the big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor! Kaboom! Like that! Gramps! I'm going to the lake, I have a bad feeling about this. A fairy can't sit still. Right, I'm worried about Lake Valor. But I have no idea what is taking place, you must find out. But before you go, let me stress. Don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Ryan, you'll be okay, won't you? Absolutely. You don't know who you're messing with. I gotta go get my knock towel. I hit deposit instead of move. This will be great in the remakes when I don't have to actually swap Pokemon around so I can use my, my HM moves. I can just be like, tip, tap, 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 fly. And a Starly shows up and is like, okay, where you want to go? Um, we'll go to Pastoria. That's closer.
Put the Pokemon down. There we go. Um, you know what? I'm going to bring the Noctowl with me because then I can fly straight from Lake Valor to Twin Leaf. I want to carry the whole team with me, but I don't want to teach Star Raptor fly. Yeah, we'll leave. We'll leave Edda. I think. I think. <laughs> Hoping not to bonk. I almost entered the building. Ooh. What's going on? <laughs> Next stop, Lake Verity. The closest civili civilization is that hick town called Twin Leaf. We could roll in there completely unopposed. It's my hometown, dude. Really? You didn't see me? Okay. Would you like to join the magic card but flop around in the mud? Actually, look at that, that sprite again. I think this is a girl. Yeah, it is. He's just been smoking two packs a day for the 30 years. Beating it up. Crow gunk. Gross. Earthquake, my dude. So many magic harp. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp. Worthless, all of them! Magikarp's not worthless. You leave Magikarp alone. We set off the Galactic Bomb! Kaboom! Galactic Bomb! Kaboom! <laughs> Send Jade out. Look at Jade. Jade's having a bad first battle. Jade's having a bad first battle. Jade, Jesus Christ. Put a self rock on. There we go. Yike. Jade keeps missing. what I'm talking about. I can take the EXP share off of Jade.
Pam 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 pa da pa pa ba 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 da ba da. Look at that crow gunk. The gunk go crow. Stocks will go to Harpy. Could have gone to Jade actually. Yeah, this time I'll go to Jade. Jade needs to have a good battle. Come on. Neutral. There we go. Excellent. Nice crit. Jade has unyielding rage! charge around here the mission is proceeding without a hitch the boss should be pleased everything is for everyone and the for the good of team galactic hmm? I recognize your face you're the child who raided the team galactic building in Eterna <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child but anything and anyone that opposes team galactic must be crushed even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated Even your mom won't be tolerated, Saturn. Go, Jupiter. Big fan, Jupiter. Excellent. I could one shot it. Bronze ore. Uh, uh, is this a levitate bronze ore? Let's find out. Damn it, it is. High jump kick. You know, I'm gonna go for the close combat. It's neutral. Okay, two of those. I'm impatient, want to speed this up. There we go. Look at that. Excellent. And last but not least, this is Toxic Croak. Um, I'll leave Harpy in. The toxic, toxic group lived that. Really not a fan. I'm 
Jinbei's moveset needs the most work. Six. We do Commander Saturn. Gah! Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time. That's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galacta will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Blake Parody. Concerned. Concerned noises. Well, let's make our way back to Windleaf. Stop stop in the house. Talk to mom. Heal up. And then we'll go deal with Mars at Verity. Welcome home, Ryan. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? It's late right now, so take a quick rest, dear. Okay, Mom. I just double did it. We return to Lake Verity. Ah, Ryan, what timing? Those Team Galactic Scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn! Ouch! What's with this old timer? This is a force double battle. Pretty sure it's a force double battle anyway. Silcoon and Glammeow. Weak AF. Why is that the one you would fake out? Jupiter's really that intimidating, is, is, is she? This one I can do is single battle, so I'm not worried about it. If this mission is successful, we get a nice bonus. Ah, that's unfortunate. Earthquake, Aerial Ace, Ka-chow. This is a perfect team up. Fucking Jupiter and Harpy. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. 38 on Jupiter, heck yeah. 37 on Harpy, let's go. Ryan, it's t Team Galactic. Oh no, the Pokemon of the Lake. Base, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. I got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Oh, baby, I remember you. Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. 
I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. So, what is it? Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Not really into that. If I had a voice changer, it'd be perfect. I don't have a voice changer, unfortunately. Okay, let's flippy floppy here. We're gonna go into Jade. I resist that. Still did 15 though. I mean, okay, that's on the special side, though, so that's not bad. You jerk. I just thought about it. Where is Quick Claw in this game? Come on, do a move. In the Jubilee condominiums. The market sits in the city, has two floors on ground floor. No, they eat, says, how about there? They're okay. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't get into that building. God, this is annoying. I'm sick of this. Good at Miss Supersonic. Stealth rocks! Sitting on my rocks. Bring its speed down. Ah, Jane missed. I can't teach it like rock slide or anything in this game, can I? Oh, I can. Rock slide is TM-80. That's available in Mount Coronet. Wait, we're in Mount Coronet. Northeast of exit to Route 207. Oh. That's not too bad. That's like really not too bad. 
Mount Coronet is so, like, there's so much to Mount Coronet. I didn't see what Pokemon was next, but Jade is uh, not doing as great as I would hope. <laughs> I didn't see who was next because I was looking at stuff, you know? As you do, you look at some stuff. Bronzor. Uh, probably not my best voice then. just went through from Square Enix. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have my my Endwalker uh, my Endwalker vinyl is coming from Square the Square Enix store and then my Final Fantasy 14 cookbook is coming from Amazon. Big fan. Big fan. I switch to Jupiter. I'm sick of getting hit with the Lake Verity. I could have also just pulled up Mars, I guess. It is levitate. God damn it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because this is going on. A bit longer than I would like it to. Ooh, this is gonna suck. That didn't, that didn't hit too bad. Do anything, goddamn. I don't know that stab is gonna matter. Darabolt does one. I think stab makes up the difference. Is it being not very effective? Okay, I'm gonna leave Jupiter out because we set up. I think that I think I did plus four. So this should one shot the Perugly. I should have EQ'd actually. I got fake out, it's fine. I'm also like you know, plus four defense. Good shit, dude. Good, good, good. I lost again. So first the wind works, and now Lake Verity that I owe you for. This should be happening to Team Galactic's commander? Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the Three Lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So, 
Now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Duxi, the be being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. See, this also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you're unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Lake Aquity? Is Barry safe? Pain, what is Team Galactic up to? Are the abducted Pokemon of the lakes going to be okay? Right, I need you to go to Lake Aquity right away. I'm worried about Barry. Me too. Me too. From 207? So from Orbird. I'm going after the TM for Rock Slide right now. I would prefer Rock Slide over, uh... Maybe that one, even. I have Surf now, which is nice. Um, let's throw a Repel. Put a Repel on. God, Surfing is so slow. That's a Protein. And rock Climb for that. I believe there's an item ball over here that's a dawn stone. Hey, remember that one. Where is it? DM80. Oh, surf and rock climb are required to reach it. Yeah, it's okay. I can't get it yet, then. Yeah, so it's... It's up there. I need Rock Climb to get it. Eh. Okay. I was gonna say, if I can get it this soon, that'd be wild. Um, we're gonna fly to Celestic. Think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to go out of my way for right now. I don't think so. I could go up to the Fuego Ironworks. But I don't think there's really anything too much importance up there for me. Actually, can I go to the Fuego Ironworks at this point? I remember it being more of a uh, post game area in Diamond and Pearl. No, I could go there right now. They just changed it up a lot in Platinum. Actually, not even a lot. Um, I wish to go up there. There's not really anything for me there. At least that I need. Burn Heal, Firestone, Rock Essence. There is a TM for Flamethrower. for no real reason. But yeah, we're gonna go to Celestic and make our way north. Um, thinking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do I need... I'm trying to remember getting through that northern part of Mount Coronet. I think I need... Surf and rock climb? No, I don't need surf and rock. I don't have rock climb yet. I need... Uh... Do I need strength and rock smash? Like, I actually don't remember. Oh, that's interesting. Bulbapedia doesn't have the Diamond of Pearl maps for Mount Coronet. Peculiar. They're mostly the same, though. This is the... I definitely need strength. So, we're gonna have to bring... We're gonna have to bring friend with us. And not... Octowl. And not... Edda. Okay, Edda won't be falling behind yet. Heal my Pokemon. Oh, thing I would like to do. I can get the Mystic Water now that I can use Surf, and I forgot to do it before we left Pastoria. Actually, I couldn't use Surf when we left Pastoria. Um, that would be good for Jinbei. Jinbei just needs a like a whole rework on the move set. Giving you brick break might not be a bad idea. Like huge power basically huge power basically makes it so you have a 50 attack stat right now, Jinbei. I'll give you brick break. Uh, do that. I haven't used double edge at all yet. Well, having Aqua Ring up and then using Double Edge seems like a good play. Roll out. I don't have Defense Curl. Otherwise, Roll out would be a little bit better. I've had good luck with Roll out in the past. One thing I will do is once we have HMO7, so once we make it to Sunny Shore, um, I will replace Surf with Waterfall on uh, Jinbei's moveset. Honestly, I, I mean, Aqua Tail would be even better than that, power-wise. That's no secondary effect. Yeah, okay. Aqua Tail may be the better option. Good for pure damage sake? Question mark. So before 47, I need to get rid of Surf. Otherwise, I'm going to need kind of some trickery here because, unfortunately, Genpora Azumarill is still not 
it, it's not its final form, that's for sure. Compared to compared to Gen 8 Azumarill. Who has play rough at 25? Aqua Tails at 21 in Gen 8. Holy shit. I don't know if the remakes are using the Gen 8 like learn set, the level up learn sets. But if they are, holy shit. Oh yeah, Azumarill learns uh superpower by level up now. It's just it's so much fun. Learns double edged a lot later. Huh. Interesting. Okay, anyway, we're not talking about Gen 8 stuff right now. Honestly, the move set that moveset's not too bad once I replace Surf with like Aqua Tail or Waterfall. So that it's a physical water type move. I have a lot of physical attackers, don't I? Like, technically, when you look at the stats, like the straight stats, it's like, okay, Jinbei's a mixed attacker. Mostly, def you know, defensive mixed attacker. But, you know, it's not really because it has huge power, so you double the attack stat. Jade is a, is a physical attacker with a lot of physical defense. Piccolo's in that same position as Jinbei. This Piccolo is fast. Faster, I should say. Look at that, 110. 111. They're within a point of each other, that's great. And then there's Friend. He's jolly, somewhat of a clown. Big fan of Friend. Okay, well... I think that moveset's actually in a better place now. Iron Tail is an option later um giving somebody drain punch would also be an option i think looks like just piccolo okay it's fine silverwind special and we'll come back okay okay not too worried about it then Like, the EVs just kind of end up all over the place because that's just how it goes when you're just playing the game. And I don't want to sit and sit around and grind forever. Let's use strength. We bring the strength one around, then we end up with Rock Smash anyway, so... One rare candy. That's good. Thinking about it, my repel did just it did wear off. Yeah. I shouldn't say just. It was quite a few steps ago. Yo, look at that meditate. Fine, we're <laughs> putting a repel on. I forgot it was foggy down here. I'm not bringing two slaves with me. When you EV grind, might as well shiny grind. Yeah. Honestly. Is this just a straight run? Oh, there's a thing there. I can grab. Actually really impressed with how this emulator is handling the fog. I don't know the last time I played Gen 4 on emulator. Probably on Destiny May once or twice, but it's actually like really properly rendering the fog. The last two times that I played Gen 4, I was playing on real hardware. Uh, uh, 
Found a revive. What else is there? Honestly, you don't even really need a map. Pretty easy to feel around here. That's what she said. Or he said. I don't know. That's what they said. Rock appears to be breakable. You could also get around it by by surfing. This is also the uh, body of water where you can find Feebass in this game, and I'm not not worried about that right now. Not a concern of mine. It's like it's not worth bringing Defog just for the one room. All right, wait, I got to turn this up. Pull up. It's that good shit. I love this theme. It's the nighttime version too. It's so good. this down a little bit. Oop, too far. There we Make sure of that before I was like setting up on her. Also, I should have just slammed. Slam would have done more damage because I'm not a rock type, so I don't get stabbed. Like you take the upper path just to avoid being on the lower path, and I'm like, well, I'm going back because there's a trainer battle here. Blake with his ambi palm. I haven't sent Piccolo out for a little bit. I clicked confusion because that's where high jump kick was. That's unfortunate. I don't like this fight at all. I don't like this fight at one bit. We'll go to Jupiter. Light. I didn't bring my ghost with me. The ambipom's coming back out, so we'll go back to Piccolo. You fool. 38. Actually, there is a rest house not too far from here. You have to go through the deep snow if you don't want to go through the, <laughs> the grass. Oh, 
Like, none of the types the types the trainers have in this game really make too much sense for the areas that they're in. But at the same time, that's kind of cool because, like, the, the kinds of Pokemon that you're bringing into these areas also don't make much sense. You know, why would I bring a grass type into a snow area, you know? But it's realistic, like, these trainers are actually, like, you know, traveling around, like, just like you. So, I don't know. That's neat, I guess. I was gonna say, I wish that was a Rapidash, but also that would be an underleveled Rapidash. I mean, with a freaking Will-O-Wisp, you ass. Novice, or are you capable? It's that Sneasel. Sneasel doesn't really carry a lot of ice type moves. It's fortunate. Sneasel's real quick though. I really like Sneasel. Sneasel's a cool Pokemon. One of my favorites actually. I just like it design-wise. Oh, I use right, I talked to the bed. I don't have to pick fat like some Pokemon, so I have to bundle up in clothes to keep warm. Then there's me, I'm just here in a short sleeve shirt and jeans. Look at me, short sleeve shirt and jeans. Worse when you're Dawn. Her top is sleeveless and she's in a skirt. Mr. Mime. Mime, mime. Slam the mime. Mime. A joke, more like my joke. You like my joke? Um, I could stay in the harpy. But also, I want I want, <laughs> I want Jade to learn Iron Tail. Naturally. I take one step! And a meditate jumps out of the grass. I was, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm about to scream. Oh my. Please, 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 please. Okay. Holy hell, there's my iron tail, dude. Goodbye, dragon breath. I don't need that. How am I gonna use that? Cynthia's Garchomp? Yeah, right. I think I'll just EQ or whatever and I'll be dead. Too slow for that. Big brain play is to... I think I'm getting Ice Punch on Metacham is the big brain play here. Look at that joke. What a joke. You're a bitch.
Dude, look at that snow. Isn't it also just solid 20 damage? You're thinking Dragon Rage. I actually had Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath is 60 power. Oh, this guy's got a fucking right you, dude. Yeah, especially considering Steelix doesn't have any goddamn fucking special attack. We live. Oh, we not live in. We we live in, but we not living as well as we were living. Oh, the fucking troll just rides you, bitch. Listen, I could have done this from the beginning, but I didn't want to. Spin thesis. No thanks. A little late in the game to be giving me that. I mean, not really, but kind of. I don't have my electric user. Guess we're going to Jade. Roost, you bastard. You bitch. Not having a good time with the Steelix, dude. Ow. Only that it did enough to KO. If it did enough to KO, I wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, I don't have to deal with it anymore anyway. Hippopotas. I was gonna switch to Jinbei, but yeah, no, no. Hippopotas. That was a goddamn mess, dude. I do one fight and I run back to this bed, dude. Too cold. The best thing I noticed in the trailer, I, th I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but best thing I noticed in the uh, overview trailer was you can run in this route in the remake. Instantly better game. Hold it. Uh, let's go, I guess, into Jade. Sick of getting confused, dude. Rogunk. Rogunk. Jade for Zub.
Nice. Yeah, Jinbei's good. I can literally just pulverize. Nice crit. Expect the gold duck. The double edge. Sorry, I got a whiff of something that I think I'm going crazy. My nose was like, hmm, you smell a thing. Probably shouldn't smell that. Look at this. I'm speeding up. And I'm moving so slow. Oh, you spotted me. Way to go, dude. You spotted me. Bjorn. Bjorn. Bjornos. Bjorno. Thank you. Was strong. I don't move first. We live in. <laughs> I had no right living. Machine, dude. You're both seven. Hail. Well, I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped an HM. If I still had that hidden move rock climb, I'd be able to scale sheer cliffs. We have to go find it. I was pressing not up. I mean, I was pressing up, but I was pressing left first. It's right here. Here's, here's homo eight. Like, get in my path. Let me get in your path. Cut. Brick break you in this game. The remake I won't be able to. Make sure I'm more agile. I always dress light. Luke, you're gonna get frostbite. Luke, you got frostbite. You mean a game engine? Harpy Aerial Ace Murder Late The Hail Kills There's an Onyx coming, I'm just gonna close combat it. Are you kidding? 
Are we kidding right now? I don't have to take this, you know. I don't deserve this. Oh god, I didn't even see that trainer there. What is it? A Pokemon battle? Give the Ace Trainer's alternate outfits in the snow, but they wouldn't give the Pro Tags. What? Seeking coming out. You seek and destroy. Equity Lake Front. Look at that snowbird. I'm just curious, what EVs does Snowbird give? Attack! Go! Ow. Medicham. What does Medicham give? Two speed. That's what I want a Harpy to have, attack and speed. Made to snow point. Snowbound town is always freezing cold. The spirits of the trainers and their Pokemon burn hot and bright, especially the gym leader. I hmm. thought maybe there'd be a hidden item there. This town's neat because it's in the shape of a snowflake. I wonder if it will be in the shape of a snowflake in Legends Arceus. Or if it only would exist. Are there are many ice type Pokemon around at Snow Point City. I wonder if they also live in the temple. No point temple. I don't get swallowed up by the snow. That's why it's very quiet here. Yeah, it does. As somebody who lives in a snowy climate, yeah. Yeah. You aren't you cold with just that scarf? Yikes. It's annoying because it's in the shape of a snowflake. Would you like to hear a trendy saying? Sure. Very well, the trendy saying. The thing to say to you to do but do Bone Destiny! That's a trendy sort of thing to say. Bone destiny! Oh, interesting. Okay. 
It doesn't actually do anything. It just adds bone destiny. Density. Oh, it says density. It's not... I missed a letter. I can't read, guys. It's bone density. Bone destiny is better. You want to trade a, your Medicham for my Haunter? No. You suck, Mindy. I love how my girl has so much vivacity and charm. Wait, wait, wait. Is that how you say that? Vivacity? Vivacity. Thanks, Google. Noun, especially in a woman, the quality of being attractively lively and animated. According to Google Maps, there is a beauty salon called Vivacity Beauty Salon. You suck, Mindy. Trade me a haunter, but you gave it an Everstone so it won't evolve. Never trade to a Medicham. Especially my Medicham. Piccolo's great. I don't think I actually need to stock up on items yet. Hilariously. It's like good to have like five of these. Five of these. You never know when one of these will come in handy. Okay, so I'm, I healed up, yeah? Yeah. Guess I'm gonna just take on the gym. Let me see if I remember how to do this puzzle. I need to go get Mischievous out of the PC. Felix. Nice crit. Not the confusion. I'm so confused.
All right, friend, I need you to hang out in the box. All right, friend. Good old friend. see here um put some quag sire in the ice type gym it's like the back half of this game just doesn't care what type pokemon they put in the gyms they're just like eh whatever what, you expected the gym trainers to be the same as the gym leader? Nah. Hit 40, there we go. Look at that, yay. I want to say Candace's max level is 40, but I could be wrong. out go up 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I haven't fought this one yet we'll fight this one me didn't it of course it has ice fang this is the ice gym after all it flinched me I can't believe this I was gonna throw hands if it did it twice in a row Nigel I got three Pokemon with fighting type moves I didn't pick the fighting type to come out. No, we're not gonna learn rain dance. I don't want weather moves. Rain dance would be good for against uh Bertha. She sends out her hip out on.
those from this spot to do me anything? No. In fact, I can actually use that to get back here. Is the one snow over cool um yeah i think that's a that's a snowball i can't destroy oh look at that and then i do this and then i think i've almost solved the puzzle So yeah, I can't destroy these ones. If I do this, do this. And I can step in front of you. Oh, I always forget how to do this puzzle. Typical combat. It's unnecessary. I could have steal you stealing, I think. Um, I think that would have been almost as effective. Piccolo. I did it again. In the corner now. If only it was Psybeam, it's confusion. Yeah, that's so weak. And it poisoned me. That's unfortunate. I hate this <laughs> so much. Living up four. If I go down here, it drops me there. That. Hmm. I need to be on the other side of her. It's from here, I go this way, and I'm there. This is not in the right spot. I need to be one square up. Two squares up. If I do this, it puts me there. If I do this, that puts me in the staircase. If I do this, it drops me here in front of her. I don't think there's any way that I can stop on a tile behind here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Idea. Do I line that up again? No, it's me in the staircase. 
have to get myself there. heal. I think I have to redo the puzzle when I reload the map. But I think I fought all the trainers now. Well, he's gone. This one, and then I do this, and I do this. How did I get up into that corner? Me realizing I have no idea how I did that. That's one way. That is not the way that I did it, but that is one way. Okay. I don't want to do that again. We're at 19 hours in game time. We're at like almost 14 real time. what she leads with but I have a feeling it's a snover like that's just what my gut feeling is that there's a snover first so I'm gonna leave star after in the front uh, uh, my brain didn't even read the first line I'm waiting for it to pop up in my twitch feed you want to challenge Candace sure thing I was waiting for someone tough but I should tell you I'm tough because I know how to focus Pokemon fashion romance it's all about focus I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. Realizing I'm probably behind on my video. Oh yeah, I am. Hey, call the snover. Snow warning. Or hail warning, whatever it's called. Snow warning. Look at the hailstorm. Intimidate, cuts, attack, and I aerial ace. Level 40, baby. Is 
Basil wants to come out, so we'll get out of here. Let's go to Piccolo. Go for the high jump kick. Do you have a Snover, a Sneasel, and an Obama Snow, I think, is her team? Or does she have four? I don't remember. That's quad effective on Sneasel. Would have been bad news if I missed. We'll say that much. Would be good if I could find a, uh... A, uh... Scope lens. Well, I only had a fire type move. We'll stay out. She has to have four, but I believe her Obama Snow is her ace. Do you have two Obama Snow? I missed! No! Let's go. Woodhammer has me scared, so I'll go Harpy. Close combat with a one shot. Ooh, swagger. Did not expect the swagger, to, to be honest. I'm asleep and <laughs> confused. You ass cave. Do I have a full restore? I don't think so. I'm gonna have to moo moo milk. I have one floor store. Let's go. Okay. Not confused, not asleep. Critical hit! It's super effective. Alright, who's last? I don't actually remember who's last on her Diamond Pearl team. I think she's got like a snow run in a. Um, oh, she's got a Medici. In Platinum, I think she has like a Snow Runt and a um, Frost Lass. Just stay out, it's a Medicham. Just aerial ace it. 
could also go to the ghost route. I'm gonna break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. Not even an ice type. No ice punch though. I must say, I've I've warmed up to you. Might even admire you a little bit. I don't know if she said a little bit or just a little. Uh, wow, you're great. You earn my respect. I think your focus will uh, and will bold us over and totally. That's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Number seven, BB. Going for about six hours. We got what is that? Four, five, six, and seven now. Four badges in six hours. That's not too bad. Now we have to do all the uh, fun story stuff. Avalanche. I guess you could say it's avalanche time, motherfuckers! This calls for speed. What kind of speed? Avalanche speed! Good chug, good chug, good. Avalanche! Avalanche speed fucking sucks. Have you tried taking your foot off the avalanche brake? Trick question. There are no brakes on the avalanche train. Am I insufferable? Yes. <laughs> I am. I am a man of referential humor. It's fine. So the way I remember this is I actually don't have to fight um, Jupiter. He's just like, well, I beat your friend, so I'm gonna leave now. Bye. So I'm just gonna drop Jinbei in the box here so I can bring Noctowl with us, so I can fly straight from the lake to Veilstone. We go to Veilstone. We go through the Galactic HQ. Then we climb Mount Coronet, if I remember correctly. Wild Pokemon! Look at that Snowbird. The number of times I have missed this is... It is not 90%. Accuracy. It's not 90 accuracy. You're not going to go away with the Team Galactic? Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake? And become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. But ew, it's so cold here. Let's go back to Veilstone H HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. 
That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon and other trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. The Pokemon named called Yuxi, it was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing, that's not good enough. I have to be stronger. Now the water level is receded, I can't uh, surf here yet, okay. Well, it's Veilstone City we go. to deposit because I'm mashing the button. In future games, it's not a problem because move Pokemon's on top. Or just, it defaults, actually. They change it so that move Pokemon's on top, and then it's like, ah, we'll just put you in the box as if it was the move Pokemon option. Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna... Whoops. I thought I pressed it one more time than that. I just want to look, actually. Where are the sh where are shits and giggles? Look, it's been so long it already started to dull. Come on, shine a little faster. Play me a badge song. <laughs> I don't have the last badge, otherwise I would. Do re mi fa sol la ti. If I had that one, it'd be do. There, I shine my badges. The important thing is the remakes. You can still shine your badges. Yeah. <laughs> Saving a lot of data. Okay, I'm gonna take a real quick break again. Um, I wanna go make some food because we've been going for six hours now. So it might be a little, a little bit of a longer break. I wanna get up, stretch, food, and all that. And uh, let's switch to the break scene. Um, I'm gonna call it the food break. It's also kind of a bio break, too. Okay. I'll be back in a bit.
I have made and consumed the noms. Let's continue. Let's shoot out this tweet now, being like, hey, I'm still live. Okay, um, 38, 38, 38, 40, 40, 40. Surprisingly evenly leveled. I think, uh, Cyrus is... Highest level is 42. Ooh. I have to sneak in the back way through the warehouse. Whoa, 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 hold it there. Do you have the key? I don't know if you do or not, but a storage key is safe with our guard in front of the HQ. Huh? That's not what this is about. Is that like the one NPC I didn't talk to? Would you look at those antennae? I don't know what they do, but those are some mighty impressive antennae. Hey, it's you! I know you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his old country. I don't know anything about any storage key. Oh, he did drop it. Actually, before I do this, because I now have rock climb and can use said rock climb, uh, I don't have, never mind, never mind, never mind, I don't have friend in my party. I don't have our HM friend. Never mind. The rust encrusted door is locked. It appears to take a special key. Use the storage key? Storage key snapped off inside the keyhole. I was hoping his dialogue would change after I opened the door. The Dusk Stone! What are you, level 38? What was I waiting for? There's a move I was waiting for, wasn't there? I don't think I'm gonna do Parish Song of Grudge. So you know what? Whoops. What did I just... I don't know what I just did. It's time for our final evolution. to Miss Magius. I have soft sand. Look at that. Look at that. Ninety-nine special attack, ninety-nine speed. We're zooming. Look, is that my fastest Pokemon? It is. 
beating out a harpy. Ooh, I can get a Thunderbolt TM from the Valley Woodworks. Do I need Surf for that? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, let's go do that. So then I can get, I can overwrite Shockwave. I'm okay with that. I just love the blob of pixels that this Magius is on my Poketch. Didn't really translate to uh, the four color very well. Grayscale. Just take the bottom two out. Faster to get off, though. There it be. Ah, she blows. An evolution and a stronger move. Ninety-five power. That's an increase from the sixty. That's what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. Anyone learn an avalanche? Climb, which speaking of, I have rock climb in my party, so friend is here, so let's get this item ball. I haven't taught it yet. Go figure. Where will I get hmm seven? What a beautiful move set you have, Bibril. Oh, that's just a full incense. Okay. Didn't need that, but that's fine. Oh, I can teach Miss Maggie as Dark Balls. Not that I think I need it because uh, Ghost typically handles most of the same as Dark. 
I just want to swap Psybeam out for uh, Psychic. And that's like a solid moveset. We're starting to get our final movesets into place, which is good. Okay, let's quickly... back where they were I just think Thunderbolt's actually gonna be like very useful for us and Miss Maggie's is my strongest uh, special attacker so it made sense all right Are you a trainer I've been with Team Galactic for five years. I haven't gotten a promotion yet. That's disappointing. Dude, this music just goes off. Well, what do we have here? A trainer that's lost their way. I'm gonna bring the game audio down a bit on my headphones because it's a bit loud. Okay, you are just a regular grunt. I wish we could get like Psycho Cut or something on Medicham. Zen Headbutt, you know. The fact that it doesn't learn Zen Headbutt is very disappointing. We need Zinc! Okay, you're gonna whirlwind me yet? I hate this game. Fuck it! <laughs> Don't side beam me, you asshole! Supposed to whirlwind again. Bronzor. They can't all be levitate, can they? Maybe. Alright, you don't have EQ yet. My brain forgot about the details. Sitting here. Uh, this song's a bop. I'm a Team Galactic member, but I don't even have a Pokemon. I'm the gruntiest of the grunts. It's my fault, though. I still don't know how the warp panels connect. Of course, it's warp panels. Wouldn't be evil team organization headquarters if there weren't more panels. Who do you think you are? Desecrating the halls of our HQ. 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 I gotta say, this game does a good job of keeping the levels right where they should be. Like, like, the, uh, NPC levels have been right there with me pretty much the whole game. And every time they, they start to slip, it there's just a level jump all of a sudden out of nowhere. I'm like this close to getting my promotion to commander. 
I'm a person, a great boss, but making you my newest trophy. Jesus, he's gonna behead us. He's gonna behead us. I forgot there's a word for that. Behead. It will be the head. Kill the dust stocks, kill the dust stocks, kill the dust stocks. Kill the cast coon, kill the cast coon, kill the cast coon, kill the cast coon. Level 34 cast coon. Like, you're. You're this close to becoming a commander? Yeah, right. Probably could bust it down to the gruntiest of the grunts. They're gonna take his Pokemon away. The locked doors only open with a special key. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you, but I really don't know. I think that's actually progress this way. Where does this go? Another staircase. Hey now, our HQ is a state-of-the-art facility. A snot nosed kid like you ought to keep your dirty hands to yourself. Snot nosed kid? You sure? Battle debut as Miss Magius. Yeah, she's powerful. Big fan. That's my little witch. Not to be confused with Little Witch Academia. Macadamia Nut. Sludge Bomb! Oh, who can learn Sludge Bomb, dude? Sludge Bomb is special. Nobody can learn it. That's disappointing. Team Galactic will set free all Pokemon, all of nature. <laughs> Team Galactic will then own it all. I found the Galactic Key. That gives me a shortcut out of here. But I don't need it. Travel back up to the top. Some people just don't understand. I understand all right. I'm like, am I really getting that lucky running past him like that? What is going on? Bronzor. More like Bronze Nor. Big fan of one shotting these guys. The Team Galactic Credo. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Look beyond the world. Space will become Team Galactics. Might you say space and time? That's right, I have the galactic key now. So, yeah, 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 this, this was not progress. This was just for that TM. Progress was the war panel. So that it would give me the galactic key, I just walked back up the stairs.
is the intent is now I can go in the main door. I can go in the front door now. And on the way, stop off at the Pokemon Center. That's a good idea. the key <clears throat> and I'm in boys Wait. okay so I'm not doing a double battle that's fine oops I mean to hit the mic uh I could confusion you or I could switch to Jade I have a lot of options here actually I could have switched to uh Etta and used people or side beam, but people would have done more. Drop the rock on his head. Why would you mean look me if you know you can't win? play when you're holding the metronome. Really lucky getting that metronome from that cricket pod. Thunderbolt! That's the good shit. So strong! Nice crit! Double crit, dude! Deserved. Save the arts TV. The nickname Edda is Magnificence itself. It doesn't look like you're researching right now, scientist Darius. Yo, good shit. Get a ball! Now, if you had an Alakazam, I mean... It maybe could have taken that. Just kidding. I found a bed. Ensure the bed is unoccupied before getting into it. Word, but okay. This is pushing on ahead. What else was down there? I found the break room. There's gotta be something here. Okay, it's on the other side there. Keep that in mind.
Max Revive. Is that? It is back here. It's a full heal. Hey. Alright, neat. those two. Don't you sucker punch me. Agility. No thanks. Hmm. Harpy is honestly fast enough as is. Well, maybe not. Could be faster. Need to max out the EVs. Oh, I don't remember how these work. There's gotta be something here. There it is. It's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, okay. That is an elixir. There's a rare candy. You must be the trainer I've been hearing about. The foolhardy one that's trying to stand up to Team Galactic. Although I had hardly expected to see that the trainer is a mere child. I heard that our commanders had a rough time with you. I know why you're here. I can sense it in you. It's about Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azel, correct? You want to save them. I no longer have any need for them. I am finished with them. If your heart aches to save them, go right ahead. I could care less. It will save me the trouble of disposing of them. But I must say, you are a remarkable specimen. Those Pokemon have nothing to do with you, do they not? But still, you came to rescue them out of pity? Such pitiful, useless emotions. It's illogical and irrational. Pity and compassion are products of the weak and lacking human heart. 
You were compelled to come here by such va a vacuous sentimentality. I will make you regret paying heed to your heart. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. <laughs> Leads with the mold, bro. Okay. Not too much longer. I think we're gonna wrap up here in the Galactic HQ and call it a night. We're approaching the seven hour mark. And his Sneasel. I could send out a number of, <laughs> no, I have a number of choices here. Who's closer to level up? They're about the same. Go to pick, ah, Piccolo. Pokemon. Quite curious. See, you are indeed strong. And the basis of your power is your compassion towards Pokémon. Wasteful. Such emotions are but mere illusions. And, like all illusions, they fade over time until death banishes them forever. That is why I have abandoned all emotions and useless sentimentality. But that doesn't matter. I doubt you will ever understand my position. That said, I recognize that you are strong and courageous to come alone. This is your reward. Master Ball. The Master Ball is the ultimate Pokeball. It will unfailingly catch any Pokemon in the wild, but it is not anything that I require. Unlike you trainers, I do not make Pokemon my friends or partners. Unlike other Team Galactic members, I don't use Pokemon as tools. Instead, I make the power of Pokemon my own. If you wish to save the Pokemon from the lakes, take the warp panel ahead. I am off to Mount Coronet. That's right, Mount Coronet, where you and I first met. I will ascend the mountain to its peak and put an end to everything. No, I will bring about a new beginning for everything. Team Galactic Report. Which report would you like to read? Some say the universe originated from a massive explosion. Similarly, Sinnoh is thought to have been formed by an explosion in ancient times. Needless to say, the explosion came from the power of a Pokemon. The Pokemon must have been the mythical creature considered a deity by the ancients. Our aim is not to capture the mythical Pokemon, but to obtain its power. The mythical Pokemon. According to myths, the Pokemon created Sinnoh with its power. 
However, capturing the Pokemon with a Pokeball prevents it from using its full power. But with the red chain, the Pokemon can be shackled, and its power can be used without restraint. The red chain. Pokemon of the Three Lakes and Mount Coronet are somehow connected. Capturing the Pokemon of the Lakes will free the Pokemon of Mount Coronet. From the Pokemon of the Lakes, crystals can be extracted to create a red chain. Using that red chain, the mythical Pokemon can be summoned and shackled to do as we command. Wild. I cooperated with Team Galactic, but this experiment has gone too far. can't say anything in our defense. The thing we made, what is it going to be used for? Yipsy. As Elf is sealed inside, it appears to be suffering with the racking shutter- raking? Racking? I don't know, shutters. Yuxi is sealed inside. It appears to be suffering with eyes squeezed shut. Mesprit is sealed inside. It seems to be suffering. It's tail twitching. So is that the canon reason why we can use its godly power Pokeballs nerf Pokemon? Yeah, I guess so. You... you came all the way here just to save some Pokémon? Though it's nothing new, I can't say I understand our boss. Why would he let a kid like you come and go freely? We, Team Galactic, take all that we need and eliminate what we do not. But anyway, you've taken the trouble to come. Let me welcome you. Consider it payback for your insulting me at the lake. Dude, it's been like an hour since I saw you. And I'm stronger now. Might have done just a tad bit more. Oh man, you have a toxic croak now. Let me deal with that for you. Almost a level out of that. Dude, I defeated you with I swept you with one Pokemon. What makes you so tough? I have good Pokemon. Fine. Do whatever you want with those three Pokemon. Press the button on the machine to set them free. Press the button and set the Pokemon free. Poof! Our boss crafted a red chain from crystals he took from the three Pokemon. 
That red chain is what he needed to shackle something on Mount Coronet. But that's all I know. Who knows what he's planning to do up there? In the manga at this point, Saturn has a red period. That would have been so sick! That's not in the Diamond and Pearl decks. Which was yeeted at the machine. Holy shit. Team Galactic War Panels. The green war panel returns you to the ground floor. Onward to a new universe. Team Galactic. Alright. That's cleared out now. So now we have to scale Mount Coronet. And I think that we will save that for the next stream. I should be able to... I should be able to finish the game tomorrow. Should be possible to do. Doing pretty good levels wise, honestly. Um, I don't have to remember to go get that. Uh, just looking at the, that's platinum. Um, yeah, we're matching or exceeding the galactic grunts going up the mountain. go. There's this Perugly is 45. Jupiter's Scun Tank is 46. Cyrus has a 48 Weavile. Okay. Okay. So I should be approaching 50 then by the time I make it to the top of the... I should probably be like 45. Uh, across the team, if I evenly level them like I have been. Um, Barry's 40 to 43 in the tag team battle. Okay. Cool. Uh, how are we doing Pokedex wise? Scene 112. Cool. Getting there. So I'm trying to think here. Um, I'm gonna need my fly sight. I'm gonna fly over to Sol not Slex Stick, the other one. What is closest? Warburg, I think. I think it's technically Orberg. Home is like actually the, this is a long distance comparatively. Um, Warburg also puts me in a good spot because I wanted to I want to come back up to Wayward Cave, and I need to go back to Jubal Life. Okay, well, I'll try to remember all that stuff. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save the game and end here. We're at about 21 hours in game. Uh, seven hour stream and an eight hour stream yesterday, so about 15 hours real time. Beat up has got us six hours ahead. After being about 10 minutes behind. That's kind of fun. I'm really, really liking my team in this playthrough. Um, okay, so same shit tomorrow. We'll probably do a long stream again tomorrow. And hopefully finish this out. I expect maybe probably hour, hour and a half to get up Mount Coronet. Probably, probably closer to an hour. Since I'm speeding up the, the grunt battles. 
will probably spend half an hour to 45 minutes on Spear Pillar. So I think by the two and a half hour mark, I should have the eighth badge. So by the four hour mark, I should be at E4. So yeah, we finish tomorrow. If things go to plan that way. All depends, I guess, where I am levels wise. I don't actually remember where the uh, Sinnoh League starts. Sinnoh Elite 4. It's 53 to 57. Bertha's 55 to 59. Flinch is 57 to 61. That's 50 is guard count to 66. Okay. It's a thing. We'll see where where that takes us, I guess. Let's see if we have to do any grinding. Because we've been like right on level, and I know the E4 is like a stupid level spike for practically no reason. Okay. Get the heck out of here. Um, I was considering raiding, but I don't, I don't really want to. I'm socially awkward. I don't know. It's... Do, 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 Okay, I'm just gonna cut stream. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, like I was saying. Okay, bye stream.